Hey, how is everybody doing out there? It is I once again, Dick Record. Um, coming to you live from the studio. Um, not Twitch Studios, but my studios. Uh, how are y'all doing today? If you're uh, watching this on the YouTube, by the way, uh, you're watching one of my VODs. Um, thank you for checking it out. But if you could swing over to twitch.tv slash dickrecord for more of this while I'm live, uh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from around 4 to around 8 Eastern Standard Time. Today, I'm starting at 2.16, probably even 2.15, um, because we're going to get in a Neon Dynasty premiere draft before the format leaves us tomorrow as we're going to uh, start early again for a, uh, a sealed play of um, Luca Pena. Ah. Leukopenia, what the fuck? No, new cup hen I I maybe maybe the uh the subtitles are just like, hey, this doesn't make sense. These words don't make sense. Somebody's using the microwave, I know it. I'm dropping so many goddamn frames. I'm sorry everybody. Hopefully hopefully it'll it'll pass soon enough. Yep, microwave's off now. Alright. Um but yeah, you know. And if you like the uh the VOD, of course, YouTube people, like, share, and subscribe. Um but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hopefully beat the balls off of this uh, this uh, this draft. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, there's actually people that are still interested in Neon Dynasty. Neon Dynasty has been a good set. Let's just already token entry. All right. So I turned off the draft helper. Um, I'm trying to draft more based on my own skill as opposed to like what the draft will the 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 machine will tell me to do. You know. Um, but yeah, this is a timed draft. So I may not be at paying as much attention to uh, to chat as I typically do during these drafts. Again, it's timed. I have to make these choices in quick succession. Um, but looks like we're starting, so here we go. Besage is good. <laughs> Besage is really good. It's removal on a land. It doesn't occupy a slot. So I think we take that over almost everything else here. Meech Goes Reign of Truth is actually really good too. And I'm sh I'm sad to see that go, but Besaju is just removal, right? It destroys an artifact or an enchantment or a non-basic. It gets them a land, sure, but like sometimes just having a disenchant instead of a land that's also just a land is very good. And I think we take that over anything else. Um, things I'd like to wheel would be Michiko's Reign of Truth, <clears throat> maybe Dockside Chef. Arm Guard Familiar is pretty good too. Uh, nothing else really good in this pack. That's like the best card in this pack. Buy up country mile so yeah we're gonna take uh Boseju who endures pack two what i never got to play with this guy he's really good actually the blue black ninjutsu deck tends to be not that great simply because um ah yo what's up sd how you doing the blue black ninja deck doesn't tend to be all that great because there's a lot of um like you gotta you gotta like play and then replay a lot of stuff i'm gonna take it because we're still open, right? And it's a very good card. Um, each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu too, but it also just draws you cards. This is just a very good card. I'm, I'm gonna take this. How you doing, Esty? How's everything been? Um, yeah, we're not we're not locked into green just because we took that Boseju, and and this is clearly the best card in the pack. Voltage Surge is really good. Iron Hoof Boar is also very good. Air of Enlightenment's okay. Simeon Sling's pretty 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 good too. And who knows? Maybe we could play all of them at the same time. Um, Discover the Impossible, not a fan of. Tamiyo's Completion is probably the best card here. Uh, it's very good removal. So Kenzan Smelter, that's also a really good card. Arrest is a good card. Inkside Infiltrator is a good card. And I think it's one of the best cards for us here. Especially if we're going to take Satoru Umezawa. So, ah, but that Completion... I didn't realize he's a 3-drop. I thought he was a 4-drop. That that kind of makes him even better, because he's just like a nice wall, too. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we take Infiltrator over Completion. Um, Koi is also really good for us. Uh, Coiling Stalker is okay. If you end up in green, that just ends up being like maybe a card that, that you just take. I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired. Um... Ooh, Replication Specialist is a really good card. And I think it's the card that we take here. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired. Uh, Kind of... 
I don't know. Yesterday was not as, as productive as I would have liked it, but I think it was because, like, Summer was really stressed out. I took her to the vet, and she was just mewing the entire time on the way there, and it was just like, all right, all right, I get it, sweetie, I get it. I think we take the replication specialist, actually. It's a 3-4 flyer that just, like, doubles up your, your, your artifacts. Um, hate to see Tambio's completion go, but, you know, sometimes you gotta... Yeah, that replication specialist just does things, though. Really good things, like especially if you're playing things like Arm Guard Familiar. Um, let's see, because then you just double up on Arm Guard Familiar. She's she's okay. Um, we felt the lump. My mother felt the lump on her tail. It was like a squishy little lump. I I checked. It wasn't a pimple, you know. And so like I was just like, fuck. I gotta I gotta take her to a a, a vet now. You know, sooner the better. I think yeah. I think Arm Guard Familiar is the best card in this pack for us. It's the best card overall, I think. Actually, so Kenzon Smelter is pretty good too. But I think we take the familiar. Um, future just operative is not bad. If we're going blue, blue black, befriending the moths is okay. Uh, it looks like blue black is the lane that we're gonna end up in, if only because like it's got the most cards for us. I think. Yeah, I'll take the future just operative. It 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 gets in for free. Mm, Mirror Shell Crab ends up being a very good card in that deck. Simply because, like, you can just cheat this in with Satoru Umazawa for, like, four mana, or it just ends up being a counter spell. So I think we actually take this big beefer of a creature. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, cards waiting for us to take them. Um, Lethal Exploit might be the pick here, but I think Dismal Backwater is actually more important for the fixing. Because, yeah, we're taking a lot of blue. We have very few black cards. So we might even end up just, like, splashing for Sutoru. So let me take that dismal black water. Um, nothing really great here. I guess we take another arm guard familiar. Yeah, I guess. Oh, God. A, four, a third arm guard familiar? People really do not like blue in this format. Um... Maybe we no no we're not in an artifact deck. Mnemonic spirit. Um, the koi wield. That's a good signal actually. If the koi wield like a three three flyer for force, that's just a very good rate in sealed or, or in draft rather. So yeah, looks like blue is either really open or people um, do not respect blue or blue black. Um, the the arguably the most powerful color combination in draft in. Neon Dynasty is green white, but forcing it is never a good idea because, like, if you force it, you end up with these suboptimal decks because other people are also going to force it, right? It's never wise to just force it. And what you want to do is just, like, try to get the, uh, ooh, to me, it's completion wield. You want to get the, um, the, uh, synergies more, more than anything. We'll take that, that completion. Uh, Reality Heist is the only thing we can take. I mean, it's the only thing that's for us, really. Thundersteel Colossus is okay. I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna play vehicles though. Vehicles aren't great here, especially in the Ninjutsu deck. You know, yeah. Oh, Mike, thank you for the lurk, dude. Um, but yeah, that was pack one. We're waiting for pack two. Hope you're doing okay, Mike. Ooh, now that the. Oh, looks like we're getting another free arm guard familiar. Let me just uh. Open up a few tabs here for lurking. Hopefully, oh, oh, this is a good pack for us. That march of uh, bird, wretched sorrow is right up our alley. Um, of the other cards that I'd like to see wheel would be uh, actually just they'll keep a reckoner raid which won't wheel. But like, oh, march of wretched sorrow is just like, oh, that's just fucking dead, and I gain this much life. It's a very good card to be seeing here. Happy to see it. We're gonna take that definitely. And it's like, we'll keep a record rate. Not a close second, but it's very much the second. Lethal exploit would be nice, but I don't know. Minus two, minus two seems like it's not enough sometimes. Um, let's see. Nizumi Prowler. Ooh, Moon Circuit Hacker is the better card here of the two. Um, we want the Prowler to wheel because sometimes like this just gets you a a tricky, tricky kill. But Moon Circuit Hacker, and we want to see a lot of these actually, gets us the uh. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sockles? How you doing? Ricky, Ricky. What's Ricky, Ricky? Moon Circuit Hacker just draws you cards, and that's important in this format. Um, I haven't seen any of the big-ass um, 
saga enchantments. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, we're gonna take this moon circuit hacker and we're gonna like it. Um, discover the impossible is not great. Pu Puzzle maker is okay. Virus beetle is actually the pick here, cause sometimes you get to. <laughs> Thank you for the host socklet. Yeah, sockles. No, sockles is bad. Um, sometimes you get to like get in for free with the virus beetle if they don't have a fast enough start, and they don't block it, and then you you ninjutsu it back to your hand, and then you cast it again, and they have to discard another card. Um, it's real cute. It's real cute. I'm gonna say that much. I'd like the puzzle maker to wheel, but I think we gotta take the virus beetle just for the pressure that it represents. Um, yeah, we'll take the virus beetle. Sockles is not good. You don't you don't like? So I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Death touch is the only way you control an artifact. I haven't seen any of the um the sagas. I think they're getting highly picked for blue black, because those sagas uh, we saw we saw um Okiba Reckonerate, but those sagas are really good. Um, I think we take the Blade Blesser. Oh no, this one, this is kind of a payoff. It gets us our creatures back, but we likely cut it. I don't know. We'll see. What's this? Uh, this card. Exile that card. Actually, let's take this in case we see that discard saga. Because this is actually works really well with that discard saga. So yeah, we'll take a containment construct. Um, Otawara, Soaring City. Are you guys fucking serious? You passed me an Otawara? What a bunch of bakas. Um, that is the pick. It's just removal. It bounces something back to your enemy's hand. Um, likewise... I'd like to see this Moon Circuit Hacker or even this uh, Undercity Scroungers bounce, but we're taking that Otawara. We're taking it. Because it's just, it's free. Tamiyo's Completion's great here. Uh, Ishin, Two Heavens is one. This is not the same Ishin from uh, Sekiro at the end of Sekiro, but he's pretty good. It's just, it's hard to play him because he's Mardu, red, white, black. I played one deck that had him, and I did not get to resolve him. Like, I either had him in my hand and didn't have the mana, or I had the mana, but I never saw him. He's okay for a 3-4. We'll take the completion, though. That's just hard to remove. Um, Prosperous Thief is probably the pick here. Yeah. Yeah, it is the pick here. Anchor to reality. What's this do? Artifact or creature, equipment or vehicle. Uh, I don't like that. Um... But yeah, we'll take the Prosperous Thief. This is very good. One or more. It's any ninja. Okay. So well, yeah, we'll take that. Because that just gets us mana. Allows us to um, ramp. Ooh, Modern Age. There's a Saga. And that's the Saga I was talking about earlier with the Containment Construct. This allows us to discard with the co uh, and then with the Construct still play that card. So yeah, we'll take that. That's a very good uh, thing. I, I would like to get this, um, this Kunai, but this pack's not going to wheel. So we'll take the Modern Age. Um... Let's see. Planar Incision might be the best card for us. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. We'll put it on the sideboard. Um, nothing here is great. Shrines or auras. We have a few aura removal, so I'm not gonna say no to that, right? Tamiyo's completion. Getting to to to, you know, just grab a Tamiyo's completion is not bad. This is a three five, but it's also a tap. Sometimes we want that. Sometimes you just pitch that to uh, to uh, to 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 bounce something, or not bounce to tap down two things. We'll take the blade, blade blesser. Um, short circuit. Not a fan of this, but it's kind of removal. But I'm not a big fan of it. Puppet. Yeah, we're we're not using. It. Um, I guess we'll take the prototype. I have no one drops. Oh, rank, Reckoner Bankbuster, are you kidding me? Uh, of course we're not going to see this Reckoner Raid come back again, but this Bankbuster is just good in every deck. I know what I said earlier about like not liking vehicles, but this just draws you cards. Um, it demands removal, even artifact removal. Uh, but yeah, it just draws you cards, so if you get it like late game, you could just keep drawing cards it, from it. Or, like, crew it. It's a 4-4 four, four body for 2. Granted, the crew, is, the crew cost is 3, but... Uh, yeah, that's the pick here, actually. Um, I'd love to see Reckoner Raid's wheel. Um, we have very few one-drops, and we're probably not even playing the Moonsnare prototype. Uh, maybe we are. It's kind of cute that way with the channel. Yeah, we'll take the Bank Buster, though. Like, that's just a good card. Having more two-drops, I think, is better than having better one-drops. Hey, hey! Bunny, how are you doing today? 
What? 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 I'm okay. Why? Did you hear something? Did you hear something? Um, clawing torment. I'm not a fan of. We'll take the sky swimmer koi. I think it's the best card for us in this set pack, and nothing else is very good. You ate a peanut butter sandwich. I haven't had one of those in months. I um, I haven't had one. Not even months, years. I have peanut butter. I I bought jelly. It's just like keeping bread in the house is always a pain in the ass. Cause like, I think I'd be the only person who eats it, which means that like, I'd have like four slices, and then forget about it, and then it'll just go bad, and then it's like. You know, the, the shelf life. Did you sound cool? <laughs> you sounded cool, but like, I, uh, I don't know. Um, Let's see. Do we take another virus beetle? We don't take the energy blade. I don't like essence capture. I think we take the ener the virus beetle. Virasa beetle. Oh, we're probably going to cut it. You hate, hate buying a whole loaf of bread. Yeah, right? It's just like, why do I need a whole loaf? Wow, Satsuki. Um jungle hollow no but we didn't take anything good in green let me just get rid of this Boseju even I think the best card for us is actually another arm guard familiar and even I'm not a big fan of it either but we'll take it it always goes bad before you finish it ooh ah oh this is a good pack for us I'd love okay so the silver fur bastard definitely doesn't wheel but I'd love for this ghost shintai of lost wisdom to wheel and that's not gonna wheel either oh we're gonna take the silver fur master though because we're in a ninja's deck possibly um equipment octopus might be the pick Ooh, another mirror shell crab actually actually getting to ninjutsu that end would be fucking fun so I think we're gonna take the mirror shell crab <laughs> I never I've I, I can't say I've never finished a, a loaf of bread before it went bad but like my god like, they have, like, a shelf life, like, even, like, the prepackaged, full of preservatives bread that you can get at, like, the supermarket. Not, not the, the, the nice artisanal breads that you get at, like, the local bakeries. The prepackaged, full of, full of, um, uh, preservatives bread. Those always go bad in, like, a week, you know? I checked the, the thing, and it's like, alright, cool. <laughs> but, like, uh, I think we take the centipede, actually? I'll we'll probably play this over, like, one of the, uh, the arm guard familiars, actually. Actually, not really, all right? Huh, let's see. Return to action's not bad. I'll take that. But yeah, like, I just, I never get to, like, have my bread. You know, it's like, and, and like, what, 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 am I gonna freeze it? No, I'm not gonna fucking freeze my bread. We'll take the koi. Um, <clears throat> what's good here? Brute suit's not terrible? I think we're gonna take brute suit. It's not terrible. The problem is that it's like the only payoff in that, in that, uh, whatever. Well, we'll take the mnemonics here, but I'm probably not going to play that either. Um, spell pierce as a one of, mm, we'll see. Used to work for a bread. Either or, I think is fine. Guardians of Oboro. Uh, I'll take that, I guess. Because I can't take the Mechanaut. The Mechanaut's dumb here. And we're probably cutting out a lot of these dumb things. Well, we'll keep that. Reckoner's Bargain. Return to action, but I don't think we play a second one. Island. <clears throat> they... No, no, don't, um, don't, um, like, mass-produce breads tip... No. Uh, I guess what I'm talking about is, like, hashtag not sponsored, but, like, brands like Wonder Bread, you know, that sort of thing. Where it's just like, oh, it's just, like, you know, full of, like, additives, you know, to keep it on the shelf longer. They made the bread for all the McDonald's in your areas. So, McDonald's bread. Oh my god, that stuff is just full of it, though. Uh, let's see. We don't need so many armed guard familiars. Uh, I don't think we play a mnemonic sphere. Moon Snare prototype, I guess? Moon Circuit Hacker is good. Infiltrator. We, one of those. Um, let's see. Containment Construct. We have a few things that, like, discard that channel, rather. So, I think... Maybe we still keep the containment construct. Guardians, I don't like. Prosperous Thief is very good. Chain Flail Centipede, I think we keep over the... Uh... Actually, I don't know. That's not even good. Well, I guess it reconfigures for two instead of for like four. Um, Blade Blesser. How many artifacts and how many enchantments do we have in this deck? We have a lot of artifacts, right? 14 artifacts, four enchantments. Eh, we'll keep it. It seems like if it we have an artifact, yeah, it'll have death touch. Menace if we have an enchantment. Hey, cherry. This is not persona. Does it say persona? 
Fucking hell, you know what? I always change that, and then, like, it never, like, changes for me. I fucking... I gotta get into a uh, habit of hitting the button, like, 17 times. Uh, how are you doing? How are you doing, Cherry? They put a lot of preservatives, but it still went bad with... Them. Bullshit! Three days. It must be going bad with them. Like, a, the, the McDonald's shit, specifically. This is not Donkey Kong. Hi, what's up, Toaster? How you doing, Hunter? How's everybody doing today? Um, we just finished the draft, actually. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm fuddling around with, uh, what we got here going on. Um, it looks like an okay deck. It looks like an okay deck. I don't think... Non-token artifact. How many artifacts do we have again? Summer, don't kick the door like that. Hey, don't start. Don't start. No. What do you what do you want? What do you want? Tell me you. Don't start. Don't you start. Alright? Don't you start. Don't you start. Don't you start. You got stuff all over your forehead. Why do you have stuff all over your forehead? What is that? What is that? Is that powder? Did you get baby powder on your forehead? Or is that dust? I don't know what she had on her forehead. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Mirage? No, she comes in, guys. I don't know if um, I don't know if I've told you guys, but she comes in and she starts howling at me, and it's just like, God damn it, Summer. And like, I don't want to be rude and go like, shut the fuck up. But like, it really, it's so annoying because she just she keeps doing it, and she just stands there and howls at me. Um, and like, I just like I, I get annoyed. I get so annoyed, and then like, it's it's led to me having anxiety over the fact that like every time I see her coming, it's just like, don't start. And then she starts howling, and it's just like. Fuck. Fuck. It's not even that she's being needy or clingy. It's that she's being like a pain in the ass. And like asking her very politely, stop. You know, and then she doesn't. She just continues. Oh, it's so it's so annoying. Um, The Sky Swimmer Koi's I think are fine, actually. I don't think we need the replic... No, we don't need the trespassers. The two mirror shell crabs, that would be funny. Um, And we're going to try to like ninjutsu things in with Satoru Umezawa. I'm not being mean to her, it's just she's being a pain in the ass, and like, I keep asking her very politely, you know, and trying to figure out what she wants, you know, I, I, I made sure she's fed, I made sure she has food out, I made sure she has water out, I, I play with her a lot, I played with her a lot yesterday, actually, because yesterday I took her to the vet, she was so, so, hey, don't cheer, it's not okay to be evil and a pain in the ass, <laughs> damn it, Cherry, and thank you for the bits, but don't cheer, don't cheer, this. don't, don't, no, no cheers, no cheers, cheers bad, cheers bad. Your cat's the same way. I, I just, like, it's so annoying, and I can't, I can't deal with it. It gives me anxiety. She gives me anxiety. Yes, you. Yes, you. She's right here in my, in my lap. She's right here in my lap. She's right here in my lap. Um, now that she's in my lap, she's purring. Um, your cat is laying on you as you speak. Aww. That was very cute. Actually, I probably, like, missed a lot of chat because, uh, because I was like telling her, shh. Moldy bread? What? 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 What about moldy bread? What? Also, we're not playing Donkey Kong ever again. I beat it, it's over, it's gone. It's over and it's gone, we're never doing it again. Is Bigfoot smart enough to be a time traveler? Actually, you know what? Let's let's cut down one Sky Swimmer, right? Because we have like so many four drops, five drop. Uh, this is the hardest part. This is the hardest part. Um, uh, we have a lot of two drops, so I think this is how we go. We cut down one of those. We cut down one of those. Um, definitely keep that. We have so many two drops. I'm noticing this right now. Oh my god. I guess we don't need one drops, right? If we got two drops, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you heard you were summoned. No, <laughs> hey, Deucey, how you doing? How you doing, Deucey? My favorite samurai pizza cat. I'll do, I'll do shoutouts in a moment, or a few moments. Is cheer bad? Why is it called cheer? It's, well, I mean, like, cheer bad because cheer bad. I don't, I don't want to take your monies, guys. I was just... This door in particular kicks it shut. <laughs> Aww. No, no, Donkey's been defeated. No more Donkey Kong ever again. Diddy is the worst Kong. 
Did he? I don't even know how they're related. Cause like, wh why? Why? They all have the sa same last name. Also, Toaster, you, you pointed out that Diddy Kong is a spider monkey, which is a combination of two of the worst things I've ever heard of in my entire life. A spider and a monkey? No, we, we need to get rid of all of those. I think we'll get rid of the brute suit, actually. Yeah, it doesn't fit in what we're doing. Yeah, let me get rid of the brute suit. Wait, hold on. Let me see how many creatures we have. We got a good amount of creatures. Let me get rid of this brute suit. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll regret that later. Um... I think we're good on um on everything now. Let me swap out my lands um so that we have the pretty ones. Uh, so today, I, 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 it's it, I for those of you that don't know, we're doing a pre premium draft, which costs twice as much. It has much better prizes. This is the last draft I'm doing for this set because uh today's the last day that the the set's gonna be available on Arena. It's gonna be um. We're moving into the new set tomorrow. Um, Streets of New Capenna. So we're saying goodbye to this set. Goodbye to the draft format. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, ew. Hey, hey, what's up, shitty superhero? How are you doing? Let me put up a, 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 a prediction. And then, uh, how is the draft deck looking? I don't know. I don't know. I can't say. I can't say. It might be good. It might be bad. I actually don't know. I never know. I never know. I never know. It's like, oh, this looks good. Zero oh, and three. Fuck. Oh, this looks like shit. Six and two. Six and three. God fucking damn it. All right, we're doing a we're doing a prediction though. Will I make it to at least four wins before I hit three losses? Um, or or get booted out of the uh, the draft. But before we uh, continue this draft, let me uh, let me uh, shout out. Oh my god, there's a lot here. There's a lot of people here. Did, who did I miss? Who did I miss? Oh my god. Um. Okay. I'm just going to go down the list. According to my stream deck. And y'all know him, y'all love him, but my dude Esty over here is actually... A, I mean, like, he has a wonderful community on top of the fact that he's actually cracked at fucking um, first-person shooters. I've... If you ever, like, pay attention to what... Oh my god, this is it. He's actually doing it. If you ever actually pay attention to, like, him playing any first-person shooters, it's just like... Oh my god, he's just getting, like, murder after murder after murder. Like, it's not even fucking close. You know, he's actually... He's really good, and he streams, like... He streams rarely, but, you know... Sometimes life hits you, so please, you know... Go hit his channel. Give him a follow. You know, check him out when he's live. You guys will not regret it. And I believe my man Mike over here. Oh no! This is one of those easy bosses that, like, fucking, like, sometimes, sometimes it just fucking gets you. Ah. But yeah, my my dude Mike over here. He's a fantastic streamer. He does a lot of uh, collaboration streams. Um, he M Mel. I think it's Mel, and and the homie Blowfish Man are actually uh, currently triple streaming Elden Ring, so please give this dude a follow if you haven't already. I'm not gonna shout myself out, but I am gonna shout out my homie over. I don't know geography very well, but I know that Sockley is in the United States. I didn't mean to dox you, but I do want to let you know that he's a fun guy. Um, he's currently working on um, Horizon Zero Dawn as well as Amnesia for the first time because his community raised the points to um, get him to do a horror stream. So guys, guys, you want to see him scream like a little girl? Check him out when he's fucking watching Amnesia when he's playing Amnesia because it is, oh boy, <laughs> uh oh, somebody is using the microwave. Cool. All right. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, but um, you know it does matter if you give my buddy Hunter a follow both on his uh his Twitch channel as well as his YouTube channel, and uh, check him out when he goes live. He, t he usually talk he runs his channel like a talk show and he talks about his hunting expeditions, um, as well as like shows off his trophies that sort of thing. Um, it's truly fascinating stuff. He also uploads a lot of stuff to his uh, YouTube channel on mu much the same subject. So yeah, also. There's our homegirl, Bunny Floppykins. 
um, who I want to believe, who I want to say, she's oh one of the uh, biggest rising stars in Twitch. Okay. Like I've seen, ever since God I've met her, it. like her star has risen There's so fucking model. hard and fast. Okay. Her community is great. Hold They're on, all just like just... super energetic and hyper over just, there. Um, she plays a lot of Genshin these days. Me. Did you ever finish Resident Evil, by the way, Bunny? Did you ever finish Resident Evil Seven? Because um, I remember you did not. You were a little little worried about it. As I would be too. The first time I played that game, it fucking fucked with me. And and one of the main criticisms that Capcom got about Resident Evil Seven was that it was too scary, and so they actually t tuned it down a little bit for uh, Eight, the the sequel, the direct sequel to Seven. But someone who can handle the heat can handle the icy it, cold like, scariness. Did, did you How do you get butterflies on you? you Are those real butterflies? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Um, is vitamin cherry? Vitamin cherry. I also need to ask. How are you oh, feeling? Because last. I saw you. You were, you were nursing a bit of a. I'm gonna say a predicament. Um, I will give it one. Nursing a predic is 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 that is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Guys, go follow Cherry. Oh my God! Is this a Tekken match? Um, she was nursing a predicament, and but she's she's super fun to hang out with, and I haven't seen her play a fighting game in a long ass time. But like I have seen her play, what was it? Among Us. Uh, not is it Valorant or is it Apex? I can't tell these shooters apart. I'm so sorry. Give her a follow anyway, and you'll let me know. Also, I gotta throw a shout Hudson out to my man Tosu, no who field. I've known half my goddamn life, which is that's how I like to play. My actually, games. because I'm so young, it's a For very me. short period of time. No, nope. uh, nobody We're believes that. Back. Anyway, uh. He just, uh, he recently started streaming, but he could use the wind at his back, so if y'all could no, give him the follows, it's Valorant. Ugh, I've heard bad things. If y'all could give him the follows, he and I would very much game. appreciate it. Yo, what's up, Danny? How you doing, dude? How's everything going, Danny? Danny, I've been meaning to ask you, by the way. No Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, before that, let me let me ask you all to go follow my dude Mirage. He is my uh, he's my partner in crime for that horrendous uh, April Fool's prank that we pulled on you all. But also, like, he's just a fantastic streamer in general. He has a brand new VTuber avatar coming up that you guys are not gonna want to miss. I think it debuts today, actually. Debuts, debuts, debut, so. debut, debut, well, de debuts, debuts. Ooh, someone bet for me, Dulce Fruit. Thank you for having faith in me. Danny, I've been meaning to ask you, a lot of the things that are getting tweeted on your official Drifter DDM Twitter are like very like, I'm confused. Is that you or is that like a bot? Damn it, Lincoln. Damn it, Lincoln. Dang it, Lincoln. Let me throw a shout out. To my buddy though, Boosty Fruit, he's my favorite samurai pizza cat. He 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 fucking wrecks all of the Soul series, despite the fact that he doesn't have proper thumbs as a cat. But uh, you know, it's really fun. It's real fun to watch him get real exasperated when he plays these fucking games sometimes. Uh and every 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 stream is something that no, you're no, not no. gonna wanna miss, so oh, oh take that gosh. fucking manus. That's right, it's pronounced manus, oh, like my. anus. Was that... I don't remember if I had a hard time with that boss, but also, like, I just... I remember in Dark Souls 1, I'm, I used the uh, the two-handed sword. Or was it the Zweihanda? The entire game, which is, like, kind of easy mode. <laughs> but speaking of someone who does not go for fucking easy mode, Cindy is currently working on uh, Donkey Kong Country for the first time. And, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy. That shit's rough, but... But she's doing it. She's doing it. She's very close to the end, and I think you guys are really going to want to catch the end of it. She also plays uh, Mario Kart, Fortnite, um, all sorts of stuff. I've even seen her do a reading of um, the Dark... No, the Dark Tower, sorry, on her stream. So, please, if you haven't, go give her a follow. It's legit. You join space and add and time, add stuff. Okay. So, it is... It, you are doing that. Okay, okay. I just wanted to be sure, because it was just like... Does someone else have control of Danny's Twitter? Because it looks like stuff that I don't know if he would normally post. You know? You know? But, uh, I know that this dude right here, he when he oh, shares stuff on Twitter, it's usually... That was a short-ass clip. 
this dude Lincoln, when he shares stuff on Twitter, it's usually stuff to help everybody in the community, including stuff to remind me, hey, yeah, you should save your settings on OBS one of these days. I know Lincoln, I know. How's it feel? I'm not a boomer. I'm the opposite of a boomer. Go follow Lincoln, guys. I'm 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 not a boomer. I'm a coomer. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was terrible. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Y'all had to hear that. Y'all had to hear that. <laughs> Wait. Speaking of people who had to hear that, Danny just heard that. <laughs> oh, you're in it, oh my God! Give Danny a follow. Give him a Hi, follow. He's a great guy. Um, He's a great guy and a great entertainer. I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh my but God, Ronan, how are you doing, dude? Matter. Thank you for the yeah. raid. Yo, hi everybody. It is I, Dick Record. Um, Lone Ronan, how was your stream, dude? How did everything go? I was uh, lurking a little bit. It looked like you were climbing ladder again in uh, Historic. Last I saw, you were playing against this dude that had a chromatic lantern out. And uh, there, was that like five color control? Because those territorial cabos. Hey, what's up, Guns and Roses? Uh, those five, those those territorial cabos. When you have a chromatic lantern, lantern out or the uh, the divide of a losing grove, it's just like, fuck. That is a two mana five five that has upside. Uh, hey, hey, what's up, da Dak Anvil, Dak Anvil, Dak Anvil, Dak Anvil. Hey, hi. <laughs> I I'm very bad at um brain things, but you know who's not bad at brain things? Lone Ronin. Guys, I, I, I know that some of y'all came with him, so y'all already know the Lone Ronin. But for those of you who don't, I've watched him play Magic the Gathering. As well as, like, he will do this... He will just, like, start fucking streaming himself, DJing on, on stream. It's fucking great. He, he, he's a... Do they call them mixologists, or is that something else? Oh, no. I don't know what... Is he, I, spinning? Spin, it's, I'm, I don't... I, Guys, check out Lone Ronin if you haven't already. Lone Ronin, thank you for the raid. How did the games go? How did they go? Oh no, I'm popping out of the top of my space. Oh, no. Okay, let me get out of there. Let me, let me, let me, let me sink down over here, and we'll go back to um. Actually, actually, this right. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to um do a draft. Well, we did the draft. Fuck! I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing, and now I have to wait for Rhino to open so I can close it again. Rhino being a 3D modeling program, um. That I used to really, really like until I found out how to use Blender, and Blender's been absolutely fucking fantastic. I'll take it. Mixologists for bar bartending, which you could also do. Nice! Dude, I suck at, um, at making drinks. Like, real talk. I'm, I'm like... It, unless it's just, like, whiskey and Coke? It's just like, oh... This sounds very, very confusing. Um, I don't know how to feel about this deck, but we'll see how it goes, right? Uh, we're playing blue-black. Uh, ninjas for draft. We got the Satoru Umazawa. We got a Silver for Master. So I think that we we have a good deck, maybe. I don't know. Oh no, going into round one this is the last day for the uh, premium draft or the uh, or for the quick draft even for uh, this set. Uh oh, we're already matching up. Um, we're in the platinum tier at this point, which got platinum last stream, and so we're probably going to be playing against a lot of very good players. Um, we do have a good curve here, so I think this is a good keep, right? We have removal, we have a, a nice threat, and we have a thing that just draws us cards. So yeah, games went well, got your dailies, got a few matches, wins, ranked up the platinum to nice! Stifled a couple Meat Hook Massacres, oh god. I fucking, I absolutely hate Meat Hook Math, getting Meat Hook Massacred, and then just like, fucking losing on the spot, essentially. Moth Rider Patrol, that's not great for me. Uh, Bank Buster. They might be the bla the red white. This is just a very good uh, efficient one drop, as long as you're running in mass. I mean, like Master Splinter. It's funny they they made the turtles in this deck are in this game green, and then Master Splinter. Oh fuck me, Reality Chip. I might have already lost. I'm sorry. This this Reality Chip card is very good. End turn. Oh boy, reality chip's very good. Um, so they can't equip it. Yep, pass, pass. Um, my turn. Okay, so I'm gonna attack. See if they take block. 
All right, we'll take three. I could have uh, put it on the bank buster, but what they're gonna do is they're probably gonna put the reality chip onto the moth rider patrol, and in response, I'm gonna Tamio's completion. Yep, on the reality chip so that they can't. I just uh, turned the Sultai ninjas. I mean, it's weird, right? Like it'd be a weird thing to to play, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, I think the smartest thing to do is play the Sky Swimmer Koi and have that as a nice blocker and then just attack with the Blade Blesser. Because we could race here. We could race if you want to. Okay, so opponents on... Is this red? Oh, they're Jeskai. I mean... I don't know if, like, Sultai Ninjas would work in, like, Constructed, though. Like, you'd have to, like, really, really like it as, as like, a, a thing, right? Alright, so they have Manache on that thing. That's weird that they put that on there, but I'll, I guess we'll take it. My turn. Um. <laughs> I'm so sorry, opponent. I'm so sorry. Alright, we're gonna hold up this removal for a little bit. And, um... Because we can't block this, it's got menace and flying. Nothing is too weird to play. I mean, that's true. Okay, so if they put this on there, I'm gonna completion it. Do it! Yeah, boy! Resolve. Alright, Tamio's completion. That can have double strike in the fucking air, I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh my god! We're just getting all the, um... We're getting, we're get, we won, we won. I'm sorry, we've already won. It's not a challenge. It's just, it's very. I think it's very difficult. Simeon Sling. Okay. I think it's gonna be di very difficult. All right. So my opponent's lost. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this thing in response to them attaching the. Uh... Oh, all right. They're gonna, they're gonna make another body. Sure. All right. Um, I draw a card. They know it. Okay. They know it. Oh, you know what I could have done actually? Wait, hold on. Not that that matters, but let me let me view battlefield real quick. Can I aim this at my opponent? Oh, it's target creature or planeswalker. Okay. Leaf match. But yeah, yeah, that went really good. Um standard or historic. See, I don't even know if there's any good ninjas in standard. Uh, right? But like Here's the thing, if you were to try to, like, make it... Supin? Sukpin? What? See, I, I don't... see Because there's a lot of, like, really good ninjas in Historic, and there's a lot of good cards in Historic that will, like, enable ninjas, like, uh... There's, um, this Merfolk that's a 1-1 that can't be blocked. There's, uh, this Changeling that it's, like, a black Changeling. It's a 1-1 that also can't be blocked. Um, there's Fairy Seer that is just, like, uh, uh, a 1-1 one, one flyer when it comes into play scry 2 for one blue mana again like you just play these cards they have they're evasive they go over and then like you hit your opponent with your ninjas afterwards but there's also better ninjutsu payoffs than kappa tech wrecker and silver for master because like silver for master is like sure all right like every other ninja gets like plus two plus two but like that's it <laughs> you know scooping oh uh, yeah they scooped i mean that was that was rough for them. I we we kind of answered everything that they did, and that was like never a pleasant feeling. And then we got another answer just in case. Like they they made a big enough board, but they couldn't block in the air, so it was just like fuck. I'm just gonna die. Um. All right. So we're one and zero going into round two. Um. So I think that's what we want the deck to do. We want the deck to like curve out. Um. And kind of be aggressive, right? That Nizumi Blade Blesser just having. Death Touch was like, oh, this is real cute. This is real, real cute. It should have also had Menace, because I also had um, Tamiyo's Completion. Those were my enchantments. I don't know. Got a rep TMNT. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. What other... I mean, like, you're probably going to want, like, a play set of... Because um, you, you're going as a black. You're probably going to want a play set of... Um, Lighting Palm Ninjas, because that's very controlly. You get to look at your opponent's hand and go like, Nah, not that card. You can't have that card. Um, let's see. This seems fine, right? That's... 
I think this is fine. That's an enchantment, so this has Menace. That's an artifact, so it'll have Death Touch and Menace. Yeah, this is fine. Um, turn one, Dismal Backwater. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't get any of those one drop flyers. I'm surprised. Bang of Shigeki. Alright. Arm Guard Familiar. Pretty good, actually. If opponent attacks, we just let him hit us. Um, worst comes to worst, like, yeah. They might have uh, a Jitsu payoff. They don't. Okay. That's fine. Oh, Shigeki Jukai Visionary. Fuck this. Alright, so. <clears throat> Play this. And. No tax. I would like another land so I could put the Arm Guard Familiar on the. Nizumi Blade Blesser. Did your ninjas a month ago when you were playing standard? Really? I guess I could see that. I think the Demir is a much, uh, much, um, we'll put this on him. Is a much, uh, better? Not better. It's a much, I don't know. We have Menace, right? No, we have Death Touch. Okay, we don't have Menace. No attacks. Turn it to their hand, reveal the top four, put a land card on the battlefield, put the rest in the graveyard. What they put in their graveyard? Wow, Surge Hacker Mech. Okay. Opponent's gonna try to ramp real hard. Um, I don't know. I guess Demir Ninjas could be okay. Here's the thing though, and especially if like you're working really hard on like trying to climb ladder. Um, Jukai Preserver is pretty good. I think we have to play Moon Circuit Hacker. Right? Oh, return to action. Okay, so this gives it Menace and Death Touch. So next, we're gonna just attack with it. They'll have to double block, and if they want to double block, that's fine. Okay. If we gain five, they take five. Wait, don't we have Death? Oh, we have Death Touch, not dumb. All right, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, let's play the Containment Construct just in case. I thought we were gonna gain five. I thought it had um life life link life link. Yeah. All right. Either way, we could still like keep swinging in there with menace and death touch. Got to do that. Good for us. Surge hacker mech. All right. So this is two damage to something. They have two of those. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. They're trying to fi figure out if they're going to kill the hacker or the construct. Okay. That makes sense. So now they have a good block. Um. Do we play this? What is this? That's Menace. It's got Menace. Alright, um... Maybe we don't play anything. I know that they want to trade the Fang for the Nizumi Blade Blesser, which is kinda cute, but like, also, mm -mm. I don't think that that works out. Let's play this. The Sky Skimmer Koi. Because that combos with the, uh, the Containment Construct really nicely, actually. And it's a flyer. Let's see. So opponent has five mana. What could they play? They'll probably play Shigeki again at a certain point in this in the uh, line. It's weird though. Shigeki is we're not blocking the. I don't give a shit. Um. Yeah. No blocks. What you got? They might have a ninja in here. They might have a ninja. Okay. Move snare special. Ooh. Bounces. Yep. Okay, that's the koi. It's not bad. Not great. Um, let's see. Play like this? I think we do. Even though it lets them have more information on our hand, I think we do. Because next turn what we can do... Hey, Hunter, how you doing, dude? Hunter, how was your hip, by the way? I forgot to ask earlier. Um, no attacks here. I should have attacked first with the Blade Blesser, um, just to see if they would chump. Anyway, um, so yeah, my, my thinking is, planar incision, they're gonna make it a 3-3, three, three. oh, it enters again and then it bounces again. That's pretty good, actually. So my thinking there was I was gonna play the Chain Flail Centipede with the uh, Replication Specialist on board and get a second Chain Flail Centipede, because that would have been cute. But um. 
that that planar incision. That's that's a move that I never even thought about because I keep forgetting that it exists. All right, so that's got Manan shit. Um, I don't think I block any of that, do I? If I had mana up, I would block the uh the surge hacker. No, the uh the specialist. But no blocks. No blocks is fine here, actually. Okay. You're more stiff than sore. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you, um... Like, you overexerted your muscles trying to catch yourself. Now it's a 4-4. Four -four. Okay. So we're not playing anything too big here now. Um, Tamio's completion. That's actually very good here. I think we don't do anything right now. We just hold up mana and we pass. No attack. End turn. Yeah, like, maybe you overexerted your muscles trying to, like, catch yourself before you fell. Okay, opponent has, like, a lot of mana. They're in a ramp deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. That thing's got the match. Now, before we move into combat, I'm going to completion that, because I do not want to take a bunch of damage. Okay. Um, do I take four? I guess we take four. Not great, but we take four. Fuck it. Unvoke the ancients. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> ah! Very good, opponent. I think opponent got us. I think opponent got us. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, all right, so chain flail centipede. Because one of those has trample, so we're definitely dead. I think we have to actually attack with Nizumi Blade Blesser and see where that goes. I think they take it though. I think they don't care at this point. It depends on how much they want it off the board. Because it's got Minache, so it's going to kill two things. Okay. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, Dunzo. Return to action. Targeting my creature. It's a 6-3. With Death Touch, Lifelink, Menace, and it comes back. Alright, and then... That's got Trample. That's not great. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play... Eh, this doesn't feel good either. Chain Pillow Centipede. There we go. That first, that first round it went a lot better than this one. Um, I think it, it went better because we just, like, drew all of our really good removal, like, at the same time. As we needed it, and our opponent just, like, didn't get anything good off the top of their deck. Fade, okay. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm dead to this. Um, yeah, I think we have to double block that. We still die, we still die. This is, like, one of those, like, times where we just say good game. I can, like, yeah, I still take 8, because this one of these has Trample and the other one has a... Uh, oh, they both have Trample. Cool. Yeah, we're dead. Alright, good game. Boop. I concede. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Sometimes it happens like that. Hmm, let's see. So, what did we learn from that? I don't think the curve is too high. I think we just got unlucky with our draws. I feel like that's what happened. Um, we have yet to draw Satoru Umezawa, and we have yet to draw this, these, um, these giant fucking crabs. <laughs> uh, we didn't see a single what's it called either. Um... Oh, those giant skyscraper things. Okay. We're going one and one to round three. Three. I was about to go three and three, and I was like, that's six. Three. There we go. Um, Anybody got plans for this week? I don't know if I told you all. Well, I told some of y'all, but, uh, you know, I had to take Summer to the, the, the vet yesterday because she had, like, a little lump on, on her tail on the right side. Um, 
didn't didn't couldn't tell really what it was. Um, I think we turned to modern age. This is a keep. This is a keep. Um, but yeah, like poor thing is just like howling at me the entire way there. Like the moment we step out of the house with her in the uh, in the case, you know, in her her cat carrier, she's just howling at me. The poor little thing. She's it's like, oh come on, Summer. We're, we're, we'll be right back, baby girl. And she's like, Meh. it's like, oh my poor little munchkin. All right, so actually, I think we play Arm Guard Familiar first. It's it's super cute, but like, you know, poor baby. And she's just so upset. Careful cultivation. So they're ramping as well. They're a ramp deck. Right. Play this. Play Familiar. All right. I think next turn we modern age. Probably pitching a land. Maybe the return to action. I mean we do need the lands though. We need we need five lands to get to specialist. So grafted growth. Okay. That's a two two now. Oh now we block that, fuck it. I'd rather that be dead. That's like an easy trade, I'm sorry. Um uh, I think we hold off on playing anything else. We'll just play the infiltrator and pass. Um, one, two, three, four, five. They have five mana. Okay. And they have a four, four. That's not great. Okay, that's what we need. Containment construct. And I think we leave up um, return to action. No attacks. Enter. Oh, I probably should have attacked with Infiltrator. Okay, so a Tales of Master Sesh means I'm likely just um completioning that now. <laughs> Alright, pass. Um block here. One block. Return to action. Game three. Oh, Silver Fur Master. That's actually really good here. Um, I think we can play this into Silver Fur Master, actually. We'll pitch the Master to, and then get it back for free. I really think I got a Tamiyo's completion that, though. But, yeah, we'll do this this way. So I'd like to get another card. Draw a card. Discard. Discard. This one. Submit that. Yep. Take action. Exile it to play it again. So that's a big boy. And then we'll just, um... Fly in there and smack it. Opponent still has, like, a lot of mana. Uh, yeah. That makes sense to put it on there. And then I think we take six here. Which doesn't feel great. But then we could Tamiyo's completion it next turn. Oh god. Make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Get greedy. Damn it. Couldn't convince him to get greedy. Alright. Uh, no blocks here. Okay, we have a land. Um, we'll pitch this land, which allows us to exile that card from our graveyard and then play the land. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Um, I think we actually leave the Inkrise Infiltrator back just in case. Uh, <laughs> or maybe we just play the specialist. Nah. Nah. It says voice acting. Oh yeah, well, no, uh, I mean, like, when I play, um, JRPGs, I have to do the voices, otherwise, like, it doesn't count. You know what I mean? Um, I think... I think we pass here. No attacks. I should have actually attacked with the Lefty Prize in the trigger, but I guess this leaves it up as a block. This thing having Vigilance is a pain in the butt. Um, and haste. But yeah, like, I'll do, I'll do dumb voices, like... Just because I'm playing like game, like any game. Okay, so high speed hover bike is bad. It looks like they're gonna tap down my infiltrator. That makes sense. But yeah, like or or if like somebody pays the fifteen thousand for the, uh, the the little girl voice. All right, so they're ending their main. Right, and this is where we have to Tamiyo's completion something. And I think we got a Tamiyo's completion. The biggest one? Cause I can't be taking all that damage. 
Alright, so they're gonna pilot the hover bike, but it doesn't matter. Oh, man. Uh. Oh, man, that might be fun. Um. People really like that series these days. Okay, so they're attacking with that and that. Okay. Um, I think. I think we double block now. I think we take. Uh, taking nine sucks. They've gotten so big on us so quickly. I think we've lost this match already. Um. I have Dragon Quest. I think it's nine. Echoes of an Elusive Age just sitting here. I have yet to play it. Alright, so we're gonna get this thing as a 2 3. I don't know if that's gonna be it. Play the land, and then we'll play. I think we have to like block everything next turn, and that's not even close. Do we play this? It's eleven. Oh my god! Have you found Lion Slash very good? I haven't played Lion Slash. Uh, and I have only had one opponent that actually had it, and it was very middling, but um, it was also annoying, so, you know. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't think we attack here, because this thing just blocks this guy. Uh, this thing I'm going to need to have on defense for the Jukai Preserver. No attacks here. And, yeah, having a, this to like block that, and I think live through combat matters a lot. Feels like a new scavenge you do. It kind of does, but like, I don't think it itself grows bigger, right? I think it only grows the thing that it's attached to. Like, it's fine. It's it's really good in modern, where they have things like, um. Oh no. Okay. Ooh, um. Where they have things like, uh. Okay, so that ruins that plan. They have things like, um. What's it fucking called? Um. Stoneforge Mystic, where you just go through your deck, you search for a... a I, I don't know if it specifically says equipment, but you can search for Lion Sash with Stoneforge Mystic. And that, like, really helps out to, uh... Oh god, here we go. Okay, so we have to put more power in front of that pass. Alright, so, we have to block in such a way that I, I want to kill that, right? So... Put more power in front of that, and then I guess we're taking... Uh, doesn't feel great. This is going to be a 5. No, what am I doing? And then... Watch them have a trick. This is when they have a trick. They have access to th 2 mana. But, um... Like, it does have a place, it's just, you know... I don't necessarily know where it is right now. This whole set's actually really good. Okay, so we pay for this. Like, the whole set's really, really good. Okay. Did we stabilize? Let's see if we stabilized. Let's see if they just trade their whole board. Yes! Oh! Very good. Very good. Now we can't attack anymore. But that's fine. Um. Okay, so we hold Othawada. We play this. And then we, we really can't attack. Mardu Warriors. Well, that's the thing. Like, I think it's more of a sideboard card, right? Because, like, Scavenging Ooze, at least that can gain you health while hating on your opponent's graveyard or hating on a graveyard. But, like, um, we'll play that and then we'll pass to our opponent. No attacks. Because our opponent can just, like, chip in right now. Uh, especially with this fucking 2 2 flyer. You know, I don't want to mouse over it. Um,. To let them know that we're looking at it, but it's there. Another Tails? Oh my god. Alright, alright. Opponent just has it. They put that on there. Let's see if they attack with it. I don't think they will. I think we could just bounce it, if anything. Just to undo their tokens. <laughs> Arcanine's the first. I don't. I mean, is it though? Um, let's see. So that's a 3 3. I don't think we attack here. I think we wait for them to put a token on something and then we just bounce whatever they put a token on. No attacks. And turn. 
I haven't seen my removal, have I? Oh, we have Tamiyo's completion there. Okay. Yep. Ooh, they're gonna put it on the dork. That means that they have. They don't really have anything going. Okay. Hey, what's up, Phoenix time? I've never played Spade, so I don't even know how that works. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, we'll pass. Like, real talk, I do not know how Spades works, I'm sorry. Okay, so they're playing a big-ass... Tanook. Alright, so, my turn. It's real good that I'm just drawing lands, right guys? Um, nope. No, no, no combats. Oh no, Paper Magic can never die. They had their best year during a pandemic. Uh, we'll end here. We'll end our turn here. Yeah, they had their best year during the middle of a fucking pandemic. Um, resolve. They made more money this past year than they have, like, ever. Ever before. Um, Orochi Mage Keeper. They just have so many mana dorks. Alright, so if they attack with all this, I'm just gonna bounce the Tanuki to their hand, and then double block the Seshio. Okay. That's a 3-3 in the sky. Which is a problem. I think we have to actually let the Seshiro hit us. Am I just dead? We'll bounce this. Doink. Oh my god, slamming domino sounds like it's real destructive. Uh, let's see. I think we are actually better off doing this. And taking the five. As funny as that sounds, I think we're better doing that and taking the five. Hey, bank of a buster. Alright, looks like we could actually draw cards off of this thing. Um, oh yeah, baby! Auto pay! Make a second one! Um, this is where we get our mana sinks from. Alright, so, crew 3, crew 3. Cool. I think that works. Uh, no attacks. Oh, did we? Did, did, are we about to stabilize? Oh, please tell me we're about to stabilize, because I hate my opponent's deck. Pass to attackers. They're probably going to try to apply more pressure, right? Greater Tanook. Yep. And I can draw two cards here, which is real good. Uh, draw a card. Yes. Draw a card. Yes. Satoru Umezawa. Okay. Play a land. Satoru. Good boy. I'm not gonna ninjutsu that in. Oh! No, that's dumb, right? To ninjutsu that in. But then... Top three cards, put one of my hand and the rest of my... Okay. Maybe? No, I think I need the blockers. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think we need the blockers. Next. Next. Uh, no attacks. End turn. Shame on you. for slamming your... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it was entirely because of that toaster, but like... You know, it was. I think it was more because people just like had all this free time, right? And you know, if you're not commuting to the office, you also have more money. And in addition, if you're not like able to travel anywhere, you're not able to like indulge in eating out. You know, you just have more money, right? It's it's not just like everyone got like a stimulus check, right? There's a lot of reasons. Oh, opponent, opponent, oh, opponent. Oh my God! I think we might have stabilized. I think we might have stabilized. Yeah, boy. All right, all right, all right. We're, 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 we're no, fuck me. All right, they got a Tamio. Oh goddamn. Goddamn. The Chronicles by Rexius. All right, so this this is bad. 
Um, okay, so we'll tap that to crew this. Actually, cancel. Hold on, cancel. Um, we'll crew this with this. Resolve. Pass to attackers. Before Phyrexia. Okay, opponent doesn't really have a thing that they can do here. Alright, so drawing a card. Oh my god, that's not helping. Um, my turn. Futurist operative. I think what we can do here is attack with this, pitching this. I'm sorry, um, hitting them with this. We just throw the two of these at that, right? Oh, this stays tapped. I have to deal with this now. Um, yeah, I have to deal with this now. Uh, hit it with one, two, three, four. And then we just play this. Okay. So next. Next. Yeah, we can't let them have that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't ninjutsu that in. I mean, I can, but then I have to play this again. You know what? Actually, because I need the bodies is what it is, right? I need the bodies. Um, yep. My words fall on unwilling. Play this as a body, and then we'll play this, and we'll enter it there, because we are like super duper, super duper close. Um, to like dying and or winning and it's hard to tell at this point like I can't really do much in terms of like hitting our opponent uh, pass okay so they're going with everything we definitely have to block that so crew this with you okay oh did we just lose here? we might have lost um and I can't crew with this, right? Let's see what we get if we draw. Oh, oh my god! Okay. One, two. Put this in front of that. Doesn't feel good, but I think we got it. I think we got there. One, two, three. We, we drain for three. We kill that. That, unfortunately, is what it is. Block. Put this right here, put this right there. Two blockers. Oh, but then we still take two. Oh, okay. Let's see if this. Let's see if we survive. One, two, three. Pay three. Hitting this. Auto pay. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I would have loved to have had that at some other point, but I guess the, it is what it is, right? Um, just play that, big boy, duplicate it, big boy, draw a card, pitch a land, dead. Draw a card. Pitch a land. Submit. Okay, so next. Next. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think we pulled it off. I think we pulled it off, guys. I think we pulled it off. Replication specialist making us two mirror shell crabs. Woo! Woo! That feels so good. Um, and I think we gotta add a clock to them, right? Because, like... We gotta leave it so that they can't. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna hit them. We're gonna hit them with this and that. Actually, this and this. Uh, two attackers. No blocks. We're gonna put this out. Return that to our hand. Damage. Bonk, bonk. Draw a card. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho. End turn. Oh, 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 oh my god. 
Oh my god, I think we pulled it off. Opponent can't attack into this. They know it too, they're like, fuck. I love it. Oh, we pulled it off, guys. Alright, Modern Age. Draw a card, pitch this. We're gonna leave up Tamiyo's completion. Next, we're gonna hit them again with uh, this in the air. Alright, uh, end turn. I'm gonna leave this open so that I can like tap it for a card. Oh my god! Replication specialist. Oh, you poor bastard. That does nothing for you, sir. Alright. Oh my god, we're gonna draw a card. Okay. Artifact enters. Uh oh. We'll take that action. We'll pitch that land. Oh, <laughs> God. Should I just do it now? Yeah, fuck it. Alright, and uh... Yeah. There we go! Oh my god. Oh, we fucking, we fucking outvalued them. Oh, and it's all thanks to fucking, what's this one card called? Replication specialist going like, you know what, you want a mirror shell crab, here's two. Mm. Mmm. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh, it's so tasty. All right, we're two and one. Oh my God, that was that was a really good match. Until they until they uh, that was that was edge of the fucking seat thrill ride. Oh God, claim that prize. We're two and oh, I'm um, two and one going into round four. Oh, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Ah. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> um, I mean, there could be a magic universe in the Shadow Realm simply because, like, magic exists on very a multiple of what they call planes, right? According to the fiction, there's like multiple multiple realms called planes. So maybe one of them is on the Shadow Realm. Like, likely though. Oh, this is bad. I got a I got a mulligan. One lander you can't keep. Uh, two landers fine. And I think we pitch... Yeah, we'll keep this. And I think we're gonna pitch, um... Mirror Shell Crab. I hate that we're first, too, and we had the mulligan. Um, likely, though, because they're different companies, they don't get to, uh... Actually, uh... <coughs> um... You know, have any, uh... Combination or anything. Nice. Do I kill that now? Uh, yeah, it's my turn. Fuck it. I don't, I don't think I care enough. Um, Blade Blesser. Because that's only a 2-1. Killing that thing now is, like, kind of, like, a little bit too... too soon, I guess? I don't know. If they attack me, I just let it through, I think. Because, like, 2 damage is not that bad. No blocks. It gets to put a token on itself, yeah, but, but you know, like, that doesn't matter, matter. Um, we're drawing all the lands we want, which is good. Um, I think we just hit them back and then play Futurist Operative, actually. Just to, uh, get them back to, uh, make this match even-ish. Alright, so Futurist Operative. Hey, the Tanook! Into the land, into the graveyard. Alright, so they're ramping to 5, that's not great. They also have more cards in hand than we do, which could be a problem. Um, if they play anything that's like an X5, or an X4, I think we could just kill it. March of Wretched Sorrow here, actually, with Return to Action, could get us a, a lot of health back. Um, opponent likely doesn't want to like attack into a Coiling Stalker. Oh, but yeah, like, yeah, so they're like different companies, they're not going to really touch that even. And they're competing companies, even, because they both occupy the same space of card games, right? They're both competing for people's money and whatever, right? Like, um, I will never touch fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? But, like, I might if, uh, if Magic didn't exist. But if Magic didn't exist, other card games likely wouldn't have existed either, because Magic was the first. Like, literally the first card. <laughs> X2? Okay. What'd they pitch for that? Kami of Terrible Secrets. I guess they want to see if I, like, I'll block now? 
I'm not gonna. That was weird. They went down a cart to do that? I just... No blocks. They don't get to put a token on that. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Um... Do I just play that? Yeah, I think we do. And so we could be like... Oh god. Let me uh, hit them with this. And then we'll ninjutsu this and let's get a card. Fuck. And then... Oh, I thought they were going to try to kill it in response. I was going to return to action it. Um, Let's see. We'll take this action of drawing a card. And then I guess... We'll play that out. So that we have the Blade Blesser again. End turn. Um, let's see. What are they playing? Tales of Master Seshiro. Alright, so here's what we do. We play this for two. Discarding this, right? Yep. And we kill this in response. <laughs> oh my god. We just play this. Um, but this is a human ninja that becomes a human citizen, so it's actually better to not attack with that. And then decline and enter. So that I have a nice 4 5. And they can't put this token on anything, which kinda sucks. I'm sorry, Grandpa Lou. Upper deck should never have let that license fucking get away from them. That was stupid. Like, they lost so much money by not keeping that license, you know? Summer's back, but I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing back there? I don't know what she's doing. Opponent's having a big think right now. Um, I'm gonna keep this Tamiyo's completion in hand because of the fact that, like... Okay, so that's a 1-1 one, one death touch, but that's fine. Uh, my turn. Skyscrammer's Koi is pretty good. Um, but we don't actually play that. I think we just attack with the Nizumi Blackblade. Blade Blesser, rather, because it's got Menace. Alright, Menace? Yeah. They can't block it. And then next turn, when this flips, we're gonna Tamiyo's completion it. In response to an attack. Yep. Like, this being a 1-1 one -one with death touch doesn't really, like, affect our, our plan. Okay. Oh no, they're doing a thing. They might have, um, spinning wheel kick. They might have spinning wheel kick. Okay. If they have spinning wheel kick, I have to, um... I have to completion the Fang of Shigeki. Yeah, they got spinning wheel kick! Alright, so... It loses its death touch, so they don't die, and my opponent taps out to do that shit. Um, we're not blocking that, actually. We're just gonna take it. <laughs> Alright, so... I think what we could do here now is attack with, uh, these two, and they can't block them. Actually, do we attack with those two? I think we just attack with the Blade Blesser. Now, if they spinning wheel kicked with the Seshiro's Living Legacy, like, my creatures would have definitely died. Right, and that would have sucked. But at the very least, um Alright, we're representing lethal now. At the very least they would have killed my creatures. Um, but then they wouldn't have had the 5-5. Five five. So that's sort of a punt. It's always a fun thing to do to go like bunk bunk. Alright. So they're bouncing the okay, alright. That makes sense. Um now my Nizumi Blade Blesser can't get in for free. Nice summer. We definitely don't fucking attack. Hey, don't start. Oh, oh, no. Being a bad girl again. Um, 
I think we just attack him with the Sky Swimmer Koi. Stop! No! Bad! They don't have anything with reach, so we'll play that, play that. Come here, kid. She doesn't want to get picked up again. She's such a bad girl. What do you want? Come on, come here. Hi. Oh boy, let's see if this works now. Um... Nine? Alright, so... We'll block like that. Because I don't mind taking four? Yeah, I don't mind taking four. They probably wanted to bounce that. For, uh... For ninjutsu reasons. And they're likely going to want to bounce Geothermal Kami. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I no longer have an enchantment now. That's fine. Yours is being a perfect angel. You're lucky. I Mine is being a pain in the ass. I put her in my lap and she's just like, nah. Alright, um, hmm. Okay, so I think we just kill our opponent, or attempt to? Um... If they kill only one of these things, they still die, because I can untap Futuristism. Futurist Operative. Okay. That's not enough. And it becomes a force something. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked that up. That was supposed to be before, um, blockers. Alright, I guess I lose my fang to that thing, or my thing to the fang. I fucked that up. I'm stupid. That's a punt. That's a big punt. Amio safekeeping. Woo! Woo! Okay. Alright. Wait, what? You could have blocked! Opponent, you could have blocked! See? Alright, so... When he's tapped, he's... It, but... I untapped it before blocking. Right? So it went to blocks. They chose not to block for whatever reason. And then didn't put this in front of this to, like, both kill this and keep that. And also gain two life with Tamiyo's safekeeping because it becomes indestructible and has hexproof. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. And look, we had Toro Umezawa. Oh my god. Um, sure, opponent. Weird decisions you made there, but... You know. Ooh, free card. Flunk. I think I have a place out of those, so that just goes into the vault progress. We're three and one. Oh, man. Apparently this deck is very good. Um, apparently I know what I'm doing. One more win and the uh, believers get paid off. But, you know, no time to be uh, cocky. Gotta approach every match like it was our last. Um, this is fine? Uh, replication specialist. Hi. Alright, so we're gonna play that. We're probably gonna bounce the arm guard um, familiar into our hand if they, uh. If they, uh. Mm, don't block it. Because they might likely not want to trade early on with whatever they end up playing. Even though arm guard familiar is like. Just like a. It trades up because it's a 2 1. Alright. Play that, play that, play this. If we had another black card, this would actually be really good. Okay. Oh! Ninjutsu this in. Put this back in our hand. Draw a card, take action. Wasn't a land. I would have liked the land. Alright, it's fine. Um. <laughs> oh no! Opponent knows about that. Alright. Does opponent not have. Alright, so we'll play this. And then we'll pitch 
take take action. All right, we do need that land, um, and we got to pitch. Uh, let's pitch Arbgar familiar. Enter. So, if they play anything too small, what what is this geothermal kami? Okay. If I draw a land here, no, we didn't. Okay. Um, okay. So what we do here? I could kill them, right? And then just like get in. And I think I want to do that, just because like that's just stabilizing them for now. The question is, what do I pitch? Is it Silverfur Master or is it Satoru Umezawa? Umezawa. I think I actually just play the Silver for a Hack Master and see if they block. Because if they block, they block, you know. Next. Okay. Enter. Um. Ah, you know that. <laughs> Is my opponent white? Okay, so they're, um, I think this is Sultai, actually. No. White, green, black. I forget what white, green, black is. I, I never know what these, uh, these color combinations are. I, I know Grixis? Another Geothermal Kami. Alright, so if I draw another land, or, um, hmm, that doesn't help. this for that and then mm, yeah that's a mana that turns this into a mana dork at least but no attacks opponent gets to uh, stabilize because I can't draw lands obviously um all right but it's on six man Ugh. okay that's bad that's bad. We're gonna lose this to not drawing lands. We're gonna lose this to not drawing lands. It's 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 the worst. It's one of the worst two outcomes that you can get. One is don't you don't draw the resources that you need, or two is you draw too many of the resources and none of the actual cards. Um, we take four. Nice. Yep. And it's my turn. Okay. So there's a land. All right. So I think. I think we gotta stabilize against this fucking horde. So. <laughs> Conspiracy tier list. Should I be worried? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Take care, toaster. Should I be worried? Um. Hmm. You know what? I'll play. Ooh. No. I'll play this guy, because he could actually block Geothermal Kami. And. Next. No attacks. Enter. Worst comes to worst, I think I could actually um, block one of the samurai with Satoru, and then um, have Arm Guard Familiar block the Geothermal Kami, and then tap it for mana, and kill the Geothermal Kami with March of Wretched Sorrow, which is like a two for one against me. But uh, you know, like at this point, at this point, we're like we're just losing. Uh. Imperial March was very bad for us, though. Grafted growth. Okay. Uh, plus one, plus one counter, which I guess goes on there. Yep, that makes sense. That's a five, four. Well, looks like we're taking five. Yep. All right. Pass. Block one of these. I'm not. Yeah, that's nine damage. That's not great, but whatever. Not keen to take it, but. You know. Oh, do they have ninjutsu shit? Oh, no. No. What are you doing? Alright, so this is for two. I don't have any black cards. Play one of those cards. Okay, this is bad for me. I have to kill that next one. they get 
And their own. Aw, oh, fuck me. Yep. Alright, that makes sense. Um. Ninjutsu for that much. Okay. Alright. We have, we have... We have some moves here. Um, block that way. I think I gotta kill this though. And that being my own koi is bad. So I have to see what they do next turn. Hey, hey, what's up, Fields? How you doing? Don't go into <laughs> public. Why not? Don't don't they like it when you do that? Um. Oh God. Yeah, I gotta I gotta I gotta hold up removal actually. Well, hold on. Let's see, I can play... Not this. This. I can't play this. I can't do that. Okay. I have to hold up. Completion. And then be willing to pitch... Okay. I have to do this in a very specific way. I have to completion their geothermal county. <laughs> no, no, you should totally yell that in a public restroom, especially a men's room. Um, Nashi, Moon Sage's Scion, though, is going to be a problem? Forever? Um, the Sky Swimmer Koi, though, that's... Uh, uh, okay, Nashi's, Nashi's very good. Nashi's very good here. Alright, so if I, if I don't do this now, I lose it, so let's tap this for one. Submit. And we're going to completion the big boy. Okay. Yep. That's that's completed now. And then we're going to let them attack. They probably attack with the Koi. I don't know if they attack with the Scion, right? Because, like, the Scion just gets blocked. Um, so we can't block that. Pass the damage. Very bleh. Is it cause work? Work can be like that. And then... Ah, the fucking jitsu play on Nashi really got me. Ugh. Getting, them getting to play a Sky Swimmer Koi for free. Alright. Plus, I would like lands and this deck is just like, nah. Deck's just like, nah. Oh my god, I, I want to play this Replication Specialist just to block this Koi forever, and I can't. Uh. That's opponent waiting on. That's opponent waiting on. We're very close to dead, so I think at the end of this turn I have to march the Nashi to kill it, gain two life, and then I have to play the Specialist to have a blocker. Right. Everything in my hand, though, has ninjits. Oh, I would love to ninjutsu out of Mirror Shell Crab, by the way. His opponent just, like... The deck is... It might be. It might be, actually. Um, Like, I haven't been able to draw the lands that I need. Alright, another Imperial Oath. Fuck me! That's just bad. That's just bad luck. Alright. Two Imperial Oaths, okay. So they don't have any untapped greens, so I'm gonna do this now. Um, pay two. We'll exile this black card. We'll kill this. Gain two, we'll destroy their Nosh. Oh, look, a land! Look, a land! It's a land, guys, it's a land. It's a fucking land, finally. I think we're just dead, though. Um, this blocks one of these, this blocks... Uh, yeah, alright, no attack. No, 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 no attacks. Oh god. Nah, I'm in like, it's it's hard for me to like explain. I, I have to like sit down and like teach you individually. It's hard to, 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 to like teach as I go in the middle of these timed matches. <coughs> oh god. So Imperial Oath is a very good card and them playing that out twice is actually really bad for me. Ah. 
but we just needed bodies out here. Z land? I mean... Look, I've only drawn like five lands in the, uh... I think we're on turn eight. Um... So I can't like really play things on curve, which really sucks. Uh, so, yeah. It's just, it is what it is. It's, that's where we are. Banishing Slash. Okay. Blossom Prince. That's very good. Michiko's Reign of Truth is probably going to kill me. But we know that they have it. So... I can counter it. Hey, the land! I can counter it, so that's fun. Next. No attacks. We're just stabilizing here! If they attack me, I have to, like, jump and, like, lose my Arm Guard Familiar and Silver Fur Master. Um... I don't even think I get the block plant. Bro the Block brat. Okay, so we gotta... Oh, we can't counter it, because they'll just, um, pay for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have the mana. Something's just gonna get really fucking big. It's probably the flyer. It's probably the flyer. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. I thought... I, I keep thinking this is just, like, counter target spell, and it's not. It's counter unless they pay three. Alright, looks like I'm losing here. Oh, they only get plus two, plus two off of that. Okay. Well, we gotta block in a way that's not pleasant for any of us. I'm gonna just wish him a good game. GG. Because we lost. Nah, we're like, we'll lose it. I couldn't block all of those, those, those weakers on the ground, too. Um, we're dead regardless. Fuck me. Alright. Well, that's what I get for making that kind of mistake. Uh, what are we, 3 and 2 now? It all hinges on this last match. Ah, uh, 2 losses, but 3 wins! Okay, so it all hinges on this last match. We've already gotten the 3 wins though, which is a thousand gems in 2 packs. If we get one more win, we basically get our entry fee back, essentially. Um, so... Fingers crossed, huh? Um, let me check my mission progress though. Oh my god, we haven't really played that many black spells or green spells okay so let's uh let's uh let's do this three and two uh going into round six this might be the last one this might be the last one um so believers might get paid off you know zontic okay that's that's a funny that's a funny character too that they're they're uh, as all right. So moon snare prototype completion. Ah, uh, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Yeah, we drew we drew we drew into something. Okay. So likely we don't play modern age just yet. Opponent is playing a cap. Um, I hate this fucking thing. Exile target artifact or enchantment that player controls. I hate this fucking thing. Um, okay, we'll play this arm guard familiar. Uh, it's not gonna block that. If they want to exile my moon snare prototype, that's fine. But they can't exile the arm guard familiar because both fingers when it was round two? No, no. I didn't even do any fingers at all. Uh, yeah, we're not blocking that. It's only one damage. They could take the uh, the, the, the prototype. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I don't know why they would, but like, that's fair. That's a fair use of it. Um, alright, and then Era of Enlightenment. Scry 2, gain 2, draw 2. Or no, Scry 2, no, yeah, Scry 2, gain 2, and then 2-2 two, two with first strike. Oh boy, okay, so that's that's the payoff, actually. The containment concept. And then we'll just hit them. Because they're about to gain that 2 life back anyway. Um, containment construct allows us to play the Modern Age next turn and just, like, play the swamp that I'm going to pitch. 
so that kind of works out. And then I think we completion the tech cracker? I'm not blocking that. That blocks. If they have a ninjutsu target, then that's fine too. <gasps> oh no, it's a coiling stalker! Um, Modern Age. This draws us a card. And then we discard this. Oh no, but... Yeah, I'll take that. And then we'll play it. Yay. Um, do we attack? No attacks. Now if they attack with the Coiling Stalker, I... I think I just block it with the arm guard familiar, because I don't want them to like bounce out another cap attack wrecker. Yep. Now if they have that thing that allows them to like punch something of mine, that's bad. <laughs> Cause I'd rather trade the familiar than the construct here. Conan is on what? Oh god, do they have different arts for each of their lands? That's... that's annoying. Um, <laughs> real talk. I don't know why people do that. Alright, so opponents like, can't attack right now. The Hand of Enlightenment's gonna be a problem? Alright. Oh, oh they're doing it. Alright, so... We're not letting that happen. Worst comes to worst, they have a combat trick and they win. Yep. Oh, do they have the, uh... They might have the punch here. They're trying to figure out if it's worth it. They're, they're really trying to figure out if it's worth it. Oh, they're big think right now. They're big think right now. They're like, ah, 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 ah. Let me put on full control right now to let them think that I have something. Yeah, they're doing it. Alright. Okay, resolve. Alright, that's fair. And pass. Um, okay, and then the cattle tech record. Alright, so... Draw that. Ah... Pitch... This land. And then... I'm gonna completion their tech record. Cause I don't care if they have a 2-2 that hits me. But this being a 1-3 with death touch, fuck that thing, it is so annoying. This is the most annoying card in the fucking game, is Kappa Tech Wrecker. This Ninja Turtle, Turtle Ninja. Oh my god, that thing can go right fuck to hell. Alright. Yep. Thermal combat. Yep. Okay. So they get three life out of that. Exile that. Okay. Um, I think I hit them with this. Put this out. And then Virus Beetle them. Oh, we can't hit them with that. Ah oh, fuck, it doesn't have um it doesn't have haste, that's right. Okay. Um <laughs> Alright. We'll threaten to uh, trade with the ge ge we'll threaten to trade with the geothermal colony because I will trade a koi for a kami. Like, watch them have the uh, the master's rebuke again. We're both stuck on land, which is not great for either of us. it's like, should I play? The Era of Enlightenment gets me a 2-2 first strike. In two turns. Okay. Trade.
Actually. Yep, okay. I have two green lands. I think, yeah, I think we still hit them with the, uh, the Moon Circuit Hacker after, by bouncing the Vector Glider into our hand. And then, um, might actually just plant the virus beetle instead. We'll see how much mana we have, because if we draw one land... Alright, Prosperous Thief is actually a land. <laughs> okay, so I think we do that, actually. Um, and it's place for two? Yes. Play so this. Bounce this to our hand. And then, um, actually, fire speed will fuck it. Fire also, beetle. Um, hopefully they don't play anything out next turn, and I can, like, bounce the beetle to my hand and play it again. That'd be cute. That'd be real cute. Um. But also, Prosperous Thief. Careful cultivation. Oh, okay. I guess they didn't want the dork? Opponent's big think here. Okay, bearer of memory. Alright, so... I don't want to completion this. But I might have to. Especially if I wanna if I wanna tax their hand a lot. Which I think I do. Yeah, let's completion them. I will play a... Do we play this now? Yeah, next, all attack. Do this. What's this? Auto pay. Return this to our hand. Yep. Yep. Draw a card. Lay a land. Beetle them. Auto pay. This card a card. I'm gonna try to get them to discard as many cards as possible. <laughs> but they drop. Norika Yamazaki, the poet. Alright. And I think next turn... I can Replication Specialist and have something in the air. Which I think is probably for the best. Um, the Hand of Enlightenment is just like, it just exists. Alright. You know what? Modern Age. Fuck it, I want to get rid of these lands. I think we have them on our hand. Or out. Rather. Um... I'll pitch a swamp. Next... I need islands, actually. Um... Hmm. No attacks. End turn. Because they have that on defense. And it's a 2-2 with first strike. So, like, regardless of what happens... Uh, it wins combat, and that sucks. Like, the smart thing to do probably would have been to play the Sky Swimmer Koi, or the Specialist. Opponent's big think here, what are we big thinking about? What are we big thinking? I, I, it's kind of sometimes frustrating for oh there we go for the opponent to like 
spend so much time um, thinking about something, you know what I mean? Like that. It's like, come on, do it, come on, what are you waiting for? Come on, do it, come on. Get to the chopper. Right. I'll stop. <laughs> Geothermal comedy bounce like this. Really? Okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Let's say. Um, let's see. And then discard that. Okay. If I play Silver for Master, uh, I can leave up mana for the Mirror Shell Crab. No, I can't. Everything in my hand requires blue mana. They play the Silver Fur Master. Uh, no. Specialist. No. Okay, now we have a flyer. So, no attacks. I think what we can do is we can try to, like, Ninjutsu in the Silver Fur Master? Hey, turtle, be quiet. I think we could try to Ninjutsu in the Sil Silver Fur Master with the Replication Specialist. Oh! That's bad. Okay. I think we're about to take six, which is arguably not great. Arguably not great. Okay. <gasps> okay. Arguably not the best. Not not worse. Not that bad either. Um I think we play this. Play this, this locks this, this trades with this. Okay. I have six mana, actually. We're dumping our hand. Um build for master. And then uh no attacks per se. Okay. Opponent has a lot of removal. Yeah, that's two Master's Rebukes. Not bad, actually. Let me grab my... Oh. Summer's on my hoodie. She's just like, I need snuggles. Thank you, baby. She's a cute little furball. Um, let's see. Alright. Yarg. Alright, so Arm Guard Familiar has War 2. Okay. Opponents destroyed a lot more of our stuff than we have of theirs. Uh, careful cultivation. Ooh. Ooh. That is now big. That is now big boy. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Reckoner Bankbuster, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your parents of Reckoner Bankbuster. Um, do I want to discard? No. Decline. Next. Next. Uh, no attacks. Enter. And we're gonna hold up this, um, channel. Because they only have five mana, right? Five, yes. And this taps for green green, so they have seven mana. If they cast anything big here, we can just counter it. With the channel that is on Mirror Shell Crab. Have to remember, though, this, this taps for two. So they do have access to five mana here. Six, seven, eight. Eight. Uh, they can... T three, so I guess they get to keep that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nice. Alright. What are we going with? What are we going with? Let's 
draw a card. Oh, right. <gasps> oh, thank you, based, based gods. Okay. Blessed based gods. Okay, so we can just kill this and gain six and then start swinging in the air. I think we do that. Yeah, I think we do that. Five. How much mana this costs, right? We have five here. One more, so we're gonna have to pitch the infiltrator, so we'll go for seven. Five, six, seven, pay seven. This one. Target that. Auto pay. They might have some. Or it's just confirming that they're willing to like tap or not tap to get more mana off of it. If they have Tamiyo safekeeping, this sucks for me, because I just two for one myself. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, yeah, let's send those out. Next. To damage. We gotta start getting in there. That's five, so we have a... Return clock on him now. Befriending the mob. Okay. Gains of flying and 1 1. Alright, so I guess next turn we're not attacking. Alright, pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my turn. Return to action. That's very good here, actually. Um, next. Um, do we still swing it? No, no attacks. Enter. Yep, go for it. Yep, resolve. Cool. Okay. Pass two attackers. We can still attack. So it still kills the vector glider. Yep. Okay, that's fair. And technically trample. Yep. Okay. Wait. Counter that. Counter that. Yep. Countered. Counter that ability. Sucks for me, but what are you gonna do? Um, ooh, futurist operative. Yeah, we'll play that. Okay, and then we uh, swing in with the fish. Okay, so enter. We have a two for fine, which means that it blocks my koi forever. I know. Hmm. Yes, yes. So opponents like looking at this going like, damn, that blocks my Sunblade Samurai. Now they could attack and make their Sunblade Samurai a 5-5, five five, um, but I likely just double block it at this point, because like, why wouldn't I? And I don't even think I double block it with Futurist Operative on the table. I think I double block it with, um... 
Actually, I do have to. Yeah, we have to. Okay, so pass. Um, that's seven damage. Let's see if they have it. They're probably putting them operative in front. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, your thing still dies. Card. Oh, my turn. Two lands in a row. Alright. Um, let's see. Well, we likely don't um, just attack. Um, take action, draw a card. And we'll pitch Swamp. Play this land out. And then next, next, no attacks. So their moth can actually become too big for my sky swimmer koi to deal with, which means uh, we're actually gonna like leave that alone, um, and we're gonna play the mirror shell crab. Yeah, that's fine. Not the greatest for me, but what you can do, right? Um, this will play this. Draw a card, discard a card. We don't need the swamp. Okay, um, we play this. Just. We don't even play that. Um, we'll crew this with uh, this thing. token like real talk yo munchkins thank you for the host dude how's your day been uh, hmm. probably should have attacked with more than just that now that I think about it okay okay uh there we go so I think now is when we start beating them down with both the mirror shell crab and the uh, ooh <laughs> imperial oath is bad for me. Oh my god. Oh boy. Why didn't I see that coming? Why didn't I see that coming? Okay. Nice. Um. Resolve. I think we still send these big beavers at them. Enchantments that one. Oh no, I have I have that token still. Okay. Decline. Um. Hey, go get him, big boy. <laughs> oh God. Yep. I probably should have sent both this and the Reckoner Bank Buster at the same time. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. We're uh, we're doing a draft, you know, as you can see here, um, for Magic: The Gathering Arena, um, Neon Dynasty. Uh, I'm doing okay though. A little tired, but like, I think I think things are going okay. How are you doing? Um, to damage. Okay. Oh, the Nizumi Blade Blaster is not great here. I just realized because um, this thing has first strike, so if they double block it, this thing just dies. Oh well. I have to put the arm guard familiar on it, and then I can swing in with it. And they have to double block it. He's got Menace and Death Tooch. Okay. Um, I do need a way to draw cards though. Uh, I gotta stop playing lands is also a thing because if I play an artifact, the Sky Swimmer Koi just like gets me a a redraw. You're playing Honkai Impact the third. Oh, is that a phone game? I think I had that installed for like a week and I was just like, 
I'm not feeling this game. I do need to finish this match out pretty soon, though, because I have to go to the bathroom. Spinning wheel kick. Okay. So, okay. Oh, no. Oh, you poor bastard. He doesn't realize it doesn't have death touch. That's fair. Um, let me let him think that I think that that's, like, gonna kill them. This is not gonna kill them. Result. They're fine. You don't have death touch, buddy. Oh, what a punt. What a punt. It doesn't have death touch. Oh, it was the game they made before. Oh, that's right. MiHoYo made that game before Genshin Impact. That game is, like, full of waifus, too. Although Genshin Impact, I think they did, like, a much better job in terms of, like, waifu density. You know? Um... But it's 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 very much like a it, like you could tell that that's a phone game. Whereas um, Genshin Impact is like like a true like this this is this is what we want. You know, like we have like a full ass game here. It's um it's still like I don't like the gotcha aspects of of. Oh, they don't even get to make a token this turn. All right, my turn. My turn. Oh, Satoru Umezawa. I think we still put this onto the Blade Blesser so that they can't just, um, chump it. And I think we would crew this with the Hacker. Actually, you know what? Next. Yeah, this seems good. Actually, this seems pretty good. There's too much impact. What do you mean there's too much impact? Oh my god. They're making another game based on Honkai Impact? Wait, I just realized they're both called Impact. Oh my god. Alright, so we're, we're putting pressure on our opponent. They have to block. Well, they don't have to block, but if they don't block, they're fuck diddly ucked. Um, Nizumi Blade Blesser having uh, three toughness here really matters because the hand of enlightenment can't just like make sure that that thing dies all right so okay so blade blesser kills the two of those like real easy um okay and this last one goes in front of the bank buster you just play it for fun yeah i mean it's hard to stream your uh, phone games i know that you can right but like I know, Mirage. Oh, I feel so bad for anybody that's like really, really spent a lot of money on those games. Um, I haven't, but I know someone. I know at least one or two people that have. And when they told me the numbers, it was just like, ooh, ooh. Are they really triple blocking that? Oh, no, they're not. They're just double blocking it. Okay. This is a better block. This is a better block, right? Like, I'm willing to, to, to you know... It's on PC as well. That's weird, because that game really felt like a a, a game made specifically for. Um, uh, that's fine. That really felt like a game made specifically for uh, for phones, you know. Um, let's play Satoru Umezawa. Enter. Man, that spinning wheel kick punt was real bad for them. <laughs> They're just playing out cards to have bodies. Oh my god, I feel bad for opponent at this point, because, like, it's just, oof. Okay, so if we get a card that we can ninjutsu in, mm -hmm. I think that we do that. Alright, my turn. Mm. Is this where we flunge? This might be where we flunge. You know what? I'm going to be right back. I, I really got to go to the bathroom. I shall return momentarily. Do not go anywhere. I shall be right back.
do. Sorry about that. Wait, folks. I think I know what to do right now. Um, the clarity that one gets from um, going to the battle. Second part. All right. So that's got ward. I think we put this on. Uh, this. So that even if they do block it, it doesn't matter. So next, next. Like they still lose their creature. So we'll just triple attack. We're not plunging yet, right? Um, we do have the mana for Otawara, which uh, allows us to, to bounce um, something if we don't like where it's going. Right? So, they're gonna try to double block the bank buster. Alright. So they're gonna lose the Maw, which is fine. But I think I always keep up mana for the Otawara. Because that's gonna lead to a massive blowout if like they have like a giant pump spell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They know that they have to block everything because the total Umaza was on here. Um Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. We're slowly shrinking their board. Um, end turn. I forgot that I had a pilot too, by the way. Sorry about the wait, folks. Well, um, but I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, while I was peeing, I was like thinking, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I think the answer is just like, I need to beat them down. Um, they're gonna make one token a turn, and that's not gonna be enough. My turn. Okay. Next. Uh, we'll pilot this with this thing, because having a nice big body is always very good. Next attack. Again, one, two, three. We're just gonna keep shrinking their board until they can't deal with it. Cause like we have creatures that just simply cannot attack into their into the what they have going on. Yep. And the koi's just gonna get in for five. Like the koi just getting in for five is neato burrito. Um alright. First strike damage. Is this anything? That makes it uh yeah. That's like actually not gonna save it. <laughs> That's not double strike either. So like, bonk, bonk, bonk. Yep. And then end turn. I think we've got this. Unless they have a board wipe. Yo, what's up, Rhonda? How you doing? Uh oh. That thing's getting bigger. No. How you doing, Rhonda? How's everything going? Um. Yes. They scooped. They scooped. Believers. Believers. You are to be rewarded. You are to be rewarded. Because we are four and two, we are four and two. I think that's Ducey, and I think uh, you're doing great today. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Any plans for the evening? Are you um? Are you st I, I are you still house sitting? Do you still house sit? Let's claim this prize. Uh oh, claim prize. Bong bong. Four wins. Four wins. So prediction, believers. Thank you for believing in me. Um. The choose outcome will be yes. Complete prediction. Complete prediction. There we go. I think it was just um, Ducey that, that bet on me, and I think Lincoln bet against. So. <laughs> you know, you have a migraine. I'm so sorry, dude. Are, are you are, are I guess are you okay? Is kind of super, a superfluous question. Does it does it um do, does it happen often? Do you get migraines often? I'm s I'm gonna say I'm lucky enough to have never experienced the migraine. And my god. My god. I've heard such awful things about migraines. We're we're four and two going into round seven. Let's uh start this up. Let's start that shit up. I know people like a lot of the people that I know that get migraines, they've been getting them like every cup like yeah, every few months. You know, but like regularly, you know what I mean? Like, like it's just the thing that they get. And I guess like maybe it's like a genetic thing, or maybe it's um not a genetic thing. What um what's it like? It's just the blood vessels are too too narrow. But you know what they say about it, narrow blood vessels. I actually don't know what the cause of migraines are, but like, goddamn, I am just I I I consider myself so lucky that I don't get migraines. 
Summer's like taking a nap on top of my, uh, my hoodie, which I'd like to wear, but sometimes I don't get what we want. Okay, this is playable. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. <laughs> Do you take anything from your migraines? I... Like, when I get a headache, I typically try to, like, you know, power through it. Captain Distrucity? That's not... that's not a name. Um, I, t I typically try not to, but, like, if it gets to be too much, or if I get to be, like, too crabby with, with, with everyone, uh, you know, I just kind of, like, take a step back and go, like, eh. Okay, so March is good here. I think... I think we still play Arm Guard Familiar first. Instead of Bank Buster. Okay, opponent's three colors. Tempered and Solitude. Alright. Like that, like that. Worst comes to worst. I can kill whatever they play. Alright, they gain two life and they draw a card off of it. Um, that's not great. Because they're going to get a card off of it when I destroy it, which I'm going to right now. Uh, by pitching, return to action. One, two, three. Okay. Exile this. Submit. Would have liked the land. Auto pay. But, like, I hate this card in general. And, like, if they ninjutsu it, it's just, it's just repeated uh, value for them. It's such a good card. I wish we actually got one of those. You take ibuprofen, but that doesn't help. Well, maybe, like, you know, lessens it? I don't know. God. <sighs> Sorry. It's, it sounds really, really, you know, babe, actually. Mm hmm. Is that a 4-4 four four now? Yeah, it's a Oh my god. It's a 4 three. Well, shit. A land would have been nice. Um, I think we play Bankbuster now, because I need to draw cards to get lands, because I can't. I can't with this. This is going to be bad for me, actually. This is going to keep getting bigger. I'm going to need to completion it sometime. Uh, we're two turns away at the very least from completioning it. Aha. Uh -huh. That is a 6-5 now. Cool. We lost. Real talk, we have lost this match. No blocks. I'm glad this wasn't the previous match. Yeah, I just, I can't get a fucking card. God damn it. Alright, let's, let's draw a card. Nice. Nice. That has vigilance, or it had vigilance, so no attacks. I'm not attacking this, but... Um, I think we block now, though. Those times you're just taking a long nap. If you can get to sleep, that that sounds like a fantastic way to solve the issue. Like, uh -uh. All right, so that's seven. Um, we have to block here. We don't have to, but like, I I want to block. Here. Uh, our opponent's deck is flying, and ours is fucking us. Which. Not, not great. Um, play this. Draw a card. That's not a land! Fucking hell. I'm dead. I'm dead this turn, actually. Good game. They have, um, they have like 20-something power. I'm dead. Big, big oofs. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop. This is 18 power right here. If they play no, no cards and just attack, they hit me for 18 and I'm dead. Um... No, 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 see that? Like, I just wasn't drawing lands, and right now, I, I can't block with anything. And this is 13 plus 5 is 18 power. I am dead. I'm like 100% dead. So, yeah. Like, and I had a lot of draws, actually, right? Because, like, I played this, um, but... Let's see, we... Let's see, we're in turn 1, 2... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're in turn 7, so I had, like, 6, 7... Eight draws, and I didn't draw a single land. My my deck just didn't, like... Like, it, it's variance, but sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, it's variance, but, like, sometimes you just don't draw the cards that you need. Opponent's deck also really went off. Like, that is atypical to have that much power on board at that, that early in the game. So, you know. How you doing, Bar Weasel? How's everything going? Let's claim this prize. 1,400 gems, three Pacos... And, uh, actually, that's the last draft that we're doing of this set, so it's gonna be time to, uh, open up 90 fucking digital packs. But before we do that, I f think I've forgotten to, like, uh, do some shoutouts, actually. So let me, uh, let me toss a bunch of those yar away. 
Starting with my buddy, the bar, the weasel, the bar weasel. He is a uh, he's a VTuber and a very good friend of mine. Um, if you haven't already caught this incredible entertainer, you're truly missing out on what some of the best uh, content that Twitch can provide you. Um, I've seen him play tons of Fortnite. I actually watched him get like you got like two dubs the other day, which like you know you're already pretty high ranking. You know, and then like to see you get two dubs on top of that, it's just like, oh shit, like he's fucking people up, <laughs> like real good. Um, as well as uh, Escape from Tarkov, sometimes he plays Pokemon as well, the uh, the card game. Um, so yeah, yeah, guys, if you have not, if you have not caught my d my dude, the Bar Weasel, come on, what are you waiting for? Get to the chopper. I mean, get to the weasel. Get to the weasel. Come on, what are you waiting for? Come on, do it! Come on! I keep forgetting I could do that voice. It's it's a silly voice, but I keep forgetting I can do that voice. Also, our dude Munchkins is a streamer as well. He uh, he streams. Actually, I've seen you play primarily like Nintendo games, um, but I'm uh, actually no, I've also seen you play a uh, Horizon. Was it Forbidden West or Zero Dawn? Either way, guys, you got to check this guy out. He's not going to be streaming either today or maybe not tomorrow either. He's got a bit of a migraine, you know. He's he's working through it, but uh. Trust me when I say you're not gonna want to miss his next stream. So give him a follow now, now, come on. Also, Red Queen Rhonda. Oh, there she is with her key. I have a black cat over there who is a pain in the butt. Hopefully, yours is much nicer than mine. Uh, <laughs> but she does stream. She does watch alongs actually, um, which are really fun to hang out with her during. So if you haven't already, gave Rhonda a follow. You know, now's your chance, guys, ladies and gentlemen. I should say ladies and gentlemen. I should say everyone, actually. You know, I, I should use the more inclusive term. I'm sorry. Everybody. 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 Yeah. Rock your body. Yeah. Everybody. Rock. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now it's stuck in people's heads. That's my fault. But, you know, it's not my fault. The fact that you, if, yes, you, if you haven't already followed Phoenix Time with his <laughs> boar hat. I love watching this dude just stream with, like, he just puts on, like, these these funny things. Just because. I, I, I love watching him just, like, have the, oh my god. Did that plane bounce off the water? That's not supposed to happen. Um, Far Cry, what are you doing, game? Uh, but please, go give my dude, this, this magnificent man, with his luxurious, beautiful hair. Give him a follow. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Mm -hmm. For a second, I was like, "Did I miss?" Nope. 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 Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Prizes. What? What toppings? <gasps> well, I could tell you one thing. He didn't get fucking pineapple on that shit. Um, desktop stream. Hey, let's open these packs. Uh, we got 90 packs, which means that we're probably going to fill up our vault progress. Um, this is when I actually do want to turn on my draft helper. Hold on. Because it actually shows me my, my, my set progress as well. So untapped.gg companion. It lets me know how, 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 much of my, um, how much of the set I already have and uh, in percentage and how much I have left. So mm, I think because of that, I need to move some things. Or actually, you know what? Let me turn off the... Uh, is it this one? No, it's not that one. It's this one. There we go. Yeah. All right. No, he doesn't. He 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 would never do pineapple. He thinks that that's an abomination unto man. All right. So yeah, we have sixty-seven percent of the set. Sixty-seven point five, and we have eighty-five, one hundred and eighty-five percent vault progress. So this is probably definitely gonna hit over a hundred, which is real good. Let's just do ten. Fuck it. Wow. Sixty-nine point nine. Nice. It also gives us some uh, wild cards to play around with, right? Uh, we got a Poseju, uh, we got a rare, uh, sorry, a mythic wild card, and a few first ofs. Uh, ooh, teachings of the Kirin. This is a bad card. Restoration of Aganjo, though. That will put. Ooh, I just noticed the um, the art on this is a. Uh, that's um, that's one of those Zen gardens. Oh shit! Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool, actually. You had that pre-typed. I'm so sorry, though. <laughs> that's, that's like, Mirage is very against that. Um, let's see. So, Kenzan and Boseju. So, like, this... You could also... Mm, it doesn't tell me how many of, of each card I have. That's fine. I guess we'll look later. 
We'll open up another 10 though. Fuck yeah! 72.6% of the set, uh, set. So what this counts, um, this percentage rather down here, is actually um, percent of play sets that you own, right? So if you have um, a play set's like four of that card. Uh, and it only counts up to four. Anything beyond the four, um, for commons and uncommons, it goes to the vault progress, which we're almost at 200%. Every 100% of vault progress, you pop this open and you get one mythic wild uh, rare wild card, two rares, and three uncommon wild cards, right? That's real. They're really important for making decks. I already have like a bunch of uh, wild cards there. And also, like every pack that you open moves this each of these over one pip so that you get, again, more wild cards. But like more importantly, like you're filling out like your set, right? Like this is a first of and this is a first of. Because uh, these are both terrible cards in drafts, so I would never take them. <laughs> um, and um, yeah. Uh, once you have a 4 of any rare, though, the game will default to giving you another rare that you do not have, so long as you're opening packs. If you're drafting and you do that, it'll just give you 20 gems, right? 20 gems is like in-game currency. It's premium in-game currency. The other in-game currency, in currency is the uh, the gold, which uh, you could do a lot of the same things with, but like premium in-game currency, currency you can use for like the mastery pass or... Um, what was it? We're going to be using... We're going to be using these tomorrow, actually, when we do the uh, the sealed for New Capenna, the new set that goes live on Magic the Gathering Arena tomorrow. So, I don't know if you're going to want to miss that. You're, don't don't miss it. Don't miss it. There we go. Uh, very, very, very uh, bad at this. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm a top 10 explainer, but I'm trying to like make it make sense. Let's do another 10. I, the, the further along we go, I've never been able to draft a Lizard Blades because it's such a good card. Double Strike. Equipped creature has double strike. Reconfigure for two. That just like makes something so. I should have one of these. I thought I had one of these. Whatever. A rare wild card's also very nice. And we filled up the vault progress. Two hundred and five percent. We're also at seventy five, seventy four point two percent of this set. Let's do another ten. Right. Oh wow. Two mythic wild cards. Not bad. There's a bunch of firsts here. Invoke. The Invoke Cycle, I haven't really gotten many of. Target Permanent card. That's actually not bad. That's a weird card for um, resurrecting things. I, I typically never see these cards pass to me. Especially Invoke the Agents actually is really good in drafts. Because it's like two, four, five bodies that are like massive and they can also do other things. Yeah, that usually fucks me. Mind Link Mech, this is the first one I've gotten of those. And the first Grease Fang, which is just like, whoo! Ooh, hey, total cherries. How are you doing today, dude? Um, oh, and let me just open like a single pack just to show y'all what, what's in like a regular pack on arena, right? So typically you get like four com. I'm sorry, five commons. I can't even count today. Two uncommons in in this pack. Uh, for this case, we've gotten one uncommon wild card and one common wild card. And every time we open ten packs, we get like the same thing, right? It's just like getting automatically filled into this down here. And then we get the one rare, which we get to look at right now, is a Springleaf Avenger. Ooh. Actually, I'm curious as to where we are in terms of, like, the collection, so let me go real quick and look at it, right? Collection. And before Jin gets... I I don't own a single Jin Gataxius. Um, let's see. Collected, rare, mythics. Uh, Kamigawa. Kamigami. Okay. Alright, so we have our play set of these. We have two of these. We only have one Invoke Justice. Kyodai. I drafted a Kyodai once and it didn't matter. <laughs> we have two of these. March of Otherworldly Light. I should have picked up a playset of these before. Right? Because, like, this is too good of a card to, like, not go to, like, at least five fucking dollars. You know? Like, they were two dollars at, at, at when, they, when the set first came out. I was like, maybe they'll come down a little bit. No. 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 Um, but yeah, there's like a lot of like, this is, this, this, I feel like this set is like incredibly pushed, because I think that, um, what happened with the original comic, oh, that oh, shit, drop my water bottle. With your, um, was this with your Sethus? Wait, no, with your, with your... 
Was it Seth, this, the, the deck that you just made? Um... My first Lizard Blades. Okay. We did get a place at a Reckoner Bank Buster. This is such a good card. Oh, that sucks, dude. It's like, I'm gonna play my Haymaker. Every turns go around. Fuck me! I need to murder my own Haymaker. That doesn't feel great, you know? Let's go back to PAX. It never feels great to have to, like, essentially undo what you just did, you know? 78% of the set is collected. Oh my god, this is my first thousand face shadow. This never gets passed because it's such a good card. Two fables of the mirror breaker. In paper, these went up a lot because people realize like, oh, four power for three mana, plus it makes you mana, plus it helps you um filter your hand better. Plus uh, you know, Kiki Jiki, even with summoning sickness, is still very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sir Tacker Mech's actually really good. This is my first Lion Sash. I know that got brought up earlier. Let's see. Oh, it is a plus one, plus one counter on Lion Sash. Okay. Yeah, this got brought up earlier because um, Lone Ronin was like, you know, like he's equating it to uh, Scavenging Ooze, which it is, it's fair, but like also it doesn't gain you life. I think this is just very good if you, um, if your opponent just like happens to play, uh, Anything in the graveyard, you know, like very in, in historic. One of the one of the bigger decks is actually, um, is it Phoenix? Red Blue Phoenix, very good deck. I used to play it until I switched over to um, Mono Red Aggro, which is just like oh, <laughs> it very consistently just murders your opponent on turn four, and that actually got me to to Diamond Two, and we're sitting at Diamond Two. Ooh. Another rare wild card on top of uh, a rare wild card, and we have uh, this coming up. Okay, what we got here in terms of vault progress? Two twenty-seven. Oh boy, these lands are also like I can't see any of these lands like settling for like too little. You know what I mean? Like these lands are just good. Open up these uh, another ten. Spirit Sisters car call. That's my first one of those. Oh, it's not a good card. That's why I could have sworn I drafted a Satsuki though. I don't know, that seems really bad. Yo, Reaper, thank you for the host. March of Reckless Joy seems pretty not good either. Until the end of your next turn. I would rather just play, um... How you doing, Red Reaper? Are you, um, are you feeling better, by the way? I remember... Uh, it might have been a week ago, you were feeling not great. Oh no, you must be feeling better, because you went to have Korean barbecue. How was Korean barbecue? Other than getting water dumped in your lap. Because I saw that, and I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Spirit Sisters Call is very complex, and I cannot understand it. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, choose target permanent in your graveyard. You may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type. If you do, return the card from the graveyard to the battlefield it gains if this did it. Okay. This is a, a, from what I understand, this is a fixed recurring nightmare. But, mm, look at all these wild cards. We could build another deck now. I mean, we could have built another deck before, it's just, I, I like having the wild cards. Um, March of Reckless Joy is not great. Teachings of the Kirin, Tatsunari. Biting Palm Ninja is pretty good, though. It was, ah, oh, shit. It was Soda, too? Hmm. That's unpleasant. I'm sorry. Um, Korean barbecue can be a little pricey, but, like, you're paying for the experience, and because the food is very good, you know? Open 10, and then we'll open these last, like, 9 packs individually. I didn't get a single Wandering Emperor, by the way. Just so so we're all we're all clear, I have not pulled a single Wandering Emperor. <laughs> Which is like, I think it's it's like one of the Chase Mythics, along with Hidetsugu, and uh... Yeah, 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 I haven't pulled a single Wandering Emperor. Um, let's open these individually. But, you know, like, also, it's a very good, like, thing, uh, Korean barbecue, rather, it's very fun to have with friends, right? You know, you just all sort of like talking, you're, you're, you're grilling, um, you're blaming each other for who's grilling the meat the worst, and then, um, you know, just shoving it in your fucking mouth. You averaged one a box? It's still like a $40 card, Cherries, like, <laughs> it's like expensive. Um... Uh, well, at least according to heroes and legends. Uh, 
Let's see, what's this? Ju uh, oh, his name is Shigeki Jukai Visionary. I thought his name was Jukai. Yeah, see, the grilling's fun. That's what you're paying for. It's a fun dining experience. I wish we drafted up a Hold the Unspeakable. That would have been really good last game. Um, okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, is that my... No, that's not my first Tamiyo. We won. Yep. Yep, we did, Deucey. We did. Believers got paid off. And then the next match that we had, by the way, like right after, my I just got fucked by variants. I didn't draw more than two. I didn't draw a third land, and I just died to, like, getting my ass beat. It felt real bad. Um, We certainly did. That deck felt... Okay, by the way. Like, when it worked, it worked, and then, like, when variants hit, it was just like, nah, nah, you're just gonna lose this fucking match. Ow, the dawn sky. I hear a lot of people mispronouncing this one. It's ow. It's blue. Uh, the, this, this white dragon's name is blue because it's blue. Ow. Like, it's actually, like, you see the scales are all blue. It, the, the white is the, in reference to the color of the, uh, the card, but it's, its name is blue. The dawn sky, it, it kind of makes sense, the sky. Well, dawn is typically not that blue, but, you know. Anyway. Anyway. It's it's blue. Its name is blue. I don't like if you name the dog blue. Listen, I, I don't make the rules. Hinata, dawn crowned. We're almost at 250, uh... Vault. Progress. If I open that, I get, like, so many fucking wild cards. Um... Invoke Despair. This is a fun card. I've seen um, this contact content creator Kano Yugoro. He started to pioneer this deck called um, Coffers Control, where you just you just slam massive haymakers because of um, of all coffers being printed into modern. And when he first started like previewing that deck, I was just like, "This is amazing!" Because it's like Tron, but like. You, you play like these massive black spells like invoke despair or uh, anything that's just like drain life dead um Erebos's intervention that's a good one uh there's a lot of just like big black spells that just go like murder the board i get a thing you know hey take it easy munchkins feel better all right dude uh you know try try to like stay hydrated and like don't don't push yourself cuz fucking migraines fuck man I, I'm so glad I don't have those. I, I don't I don't mean to like rub it in, I just I'm so glad. I I, I think it's just like a luck thing. One showcase etch wandering Yeah Yeah The wa the the etched wandering emperor it's it's really nice that like wizards did this actually with the with this set and I think with the next set as well with Streets of New Capenna where they just put in like a bunch of like chase cards so that like you know you can open something that's just like this is valuable. People on the secondary market will pay money for this, right? The neon cards also in the uh, in the collector's boosters. You got okay. We'll be here, Reaper. Is that a Maneki Neko card? Yes. <laughs> how you doing, Lolzy? How was um? How was the uh, rest of your stream? Oh shit! Did you read out? Let me um. Let me close that tab. Uh oh, I didn't push the right button. I'm not good at this. Fucking hell. Third try. Oh, okay. Two people that I know rated. Oh, okay. I have two windows open for Alice. Oh, oh no, I clicked away. We'll get another one. Cat deck, best deck. I mean, cats are actually coming into vogue again. Because um, the next set has a lot of cats. The next set has a lot, a lot of cats. Um, probably too many? Uh, with Jetmir, I think it is. Oh, Springleaf Avenger. This was in my first um, sealed deck on here, and I never got to resolve it. It was just like this big haymaker in my deck that just never came out. Oh, this is actually really good. I mean, not really good, but like, it's pretty good, right? It's just like, permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, so you could just like, play fast and loose with your with your, uh, with your your early threats, and then just like, get them all back. Slowly? I, I like that. I like that. That's not bad. Especially in the black green. This is a black green deck card. And, and because of that, like, Rin and Seri became, like, a fucking $40 card. And I just thought to myself, fuck, you know, you, you were looking at it, too. This is my first unforgiving one because I hate this card. Um, this is my first unforgiving one. I do not like this card in draft. 
that you tab and ready someone else yet tabs open for one oh I mean like that happens, you know? It happens. Um I have to check every once in a while to make sure that like I'm I'm either like you know, tabbed up into like people that I care about or just like you, you know, like even to refresh them because sometimes they just you know, when somebody raids out to somebody that I care about, it's just like, oh, it doesn't count because like I was tabbed away and so like the video didn't start. Another Atsush. We rarely got any of these dragons and when we did draft the dragons, we never got to play them. Uh Alright, last pack. Let's see if we get a wandering emperor. Wait, did you start work already, Cherries? Let's see if we get a wandering emperor. Nope! Mech Titan Core. The meme upon memes. This is the Megazord. Um, this is the Megazord. This thing like grabs a bunch of robots around it and goes like, let's make a giant Megazord called Mech Titan. Oh, it's so cool. I've never seen this work for anybody, but I heard this one story on uh, Loading Ready Run where somebody was playing in somebody else in draft, and in response to the um, the controller of Mech Titan Core activating it for five and then exiling four other artifact creatures and or vehicles, their opponent countered it with a... Uh, with um the, the that crab that counters um activated abilities and so what happens there is you don't like the controller of mech titan core exiled essentially four artifact creatures and mech titan core they didn't get any of that shit back because the ability was countered so they they paid the price and the price was paid and then they never got their shit back and i was just like oh my god you gotta lurk while you're working. Alright, Bar Weasel, thank you for the lurk. Today's your first full day there. Oh. It, you're back where you where you were, right? With um Fuck. I, I never I don't think I ever understood what you did there. I'm sorry. Cause like sometimes you would tell me like you're at you're at the front and it's just like You're you're are you dealing with customers? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That rando is still kicking your ass. I mean randomizers are just like sometimes you have to find like that one item that will let you progress with with the game and it's like somewhere like hopefully it's not bought beyond the place that you can't access because you can't get like the hook shot let's say because randomizer right <laughs> I've, I've heard of like broken randomizer runs where it's just like all right so i see the next item that we need to get to move forward is behind this door I see it through the grate, and the key to this door, I haven't found that we've, we've opened every chest up until this point, so I guess we gotta restart. I used to like to watch um, Resident Evil randomizer runs because, like, you know, I, I, I like that game. That game's fun. Oh, you work from home? See, that's how little I understood your job. Um, we got 80% of the set from drafting and from uh, opening those 90 prize packs. We also filled out another, like, oh my god, probably like 100 and change percent of vault progress. Um, let's go see what our collection looks like of that set. Alright, so... Mm, 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 mm. Uh, collected, rare, mythics, kamigami. Alright, so... Let's see. I don't think we got... Wow, I'm... S we didn't get a lot of playsets here, and that's fine. Blade of the Oni. I just want to see if I got like playsets of anything that's like super playable. A Ganjo. You know what? I actually made this. Oh, we did get Wandering Emperors. We probably either opened those in like no, we didn't open any prize packs until just now. We probably got these from the um the the um oh fuck, what's it called? The the Mastery Pass actually, because I've never seen one of these passed to me in draft or opened it in draft because this is just like oh fucking you're gonna win this combat regardless um i would have liked another two march of otherworldly lights because that's just whenever an opponent plays that against me it's just like fuck um let's see we drafted this highly and it's always never worked out <laughs> 1000 face shadow that's the uh, that's the kind of card you need a play set of Oh, I do have one Jin. I think I got this in um also from the Mastery Pass because the Mastery Pass just gives you like a couple mythics, and I think yeah, like I think this was from a Mastery Pass. I think these two are from the Mastery Pass. I know that I got like I think two of the uh, the 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 Kami War from the Mastery Pass. 
Um, I made, I crafted some Sokenzan, so I'm, just, I'm not surprised that I have a play set of Sokenzan. Um, Goto Goto, I drafted him twice. He's actually, like, really fun. <laughs> as well as Kiki Jiki. There's Junji Ito. Hey, hey Junji Ito, come back here. Hey, Junji Ito, I draw, I draw crazy comics. Alright, that's, that's not what you sound like. You don't know that. Um... I've never gotten a uh, Kura from draft. There's a lot of cards here that it's just like, I've never gotten that in draft. Uh, we have a playset of Springleafs. That's what I get for saying it was a really good. Hey, playset of Kamis. All right. Kami of Transients. This is actually not bad. I did not get the pieces of Exodia, but we did get to four to four wins. Uh, this No, oh, that's how I got the two Tamios, I think. Oh, no, I got one Tamio. Either way, I, I'm pretty sure I got them through uh, Mastery Pass. There was one draft where we fucking rode the ear of virtue for like the longest time. Oh, I didn't get the other um planeswalker, did I? The ninja planeswalker. I did not. Aw, oh, balls. Let's see what we did not collect, by the way. Because there's going to be gaps. There's going to be gaps. Right? Is that both? Co collected and not collected. Yep, okay. So let's see what gaps we have. Uh, Never got a Tezzeret. Cool. That's good to know. Never got Invoke Calamity. Well, I'm not too worried about that. That's not That's not on the top of my list of things to get. Kotose. I remember I played a game where somebody resolved a Satoru and a Kotose. And they ninjutsu Kotose with Satoru. And I was like, fuck me. Like, they were drawing like, ha like fucking seven cards. Out of, out of, um, out of nowhere. It's just like, ah. I lost that round, of course. Like they, you, you ninjutsu a four-four, and it's like great. I'm taking four, and then like yeah, they get like whatever this text does. I, I'm not reading it. Um, oh god, it hurts so much. I could have sworn we had another Ishin. Hmm. Either way. Oh. Yeah, the Kaito Shizuki, though, was the one that I never drafted and never got. I never got a single Kaito. And this is actually a playable card. Like, I like that, like, he comes out and, like, unless your opponent deals with him then and there, um, he's gone. He does, he can't be, like, sorcery speed removed for another turn, you know? So, I, I do like that about him. Let's see. But, hmm. All right. Um, so this has been the end of this draft. We're going to go play the best Zelda ever made. Don't at me. Um, let's see. I think let's uh, go to profile real quick. If anybody wants to add me on the, um, the old Magic the Gathering Arena, there's my uh, number and everything. The Mastery Pass ends in 14 hours as well as the set. And then we can um, play with New Capenna, which will be starting tomorrow. We're going to we're not drafts right away. We're going to do the sealed once or twice because that costs gems. And I hate that it costs gems, but whatever. And look, we're Diamond 2 and Constructed because I've been writing red deck wins like nobody's fucking business. And that deck does, in fact, fucking win. Make a deck with no pathetic cards. There's... Well, I mean, like, in draft, you kind of have to tick, like, the, uh... The, um... You know, like the occasional, like, this is okay, this is fine, this is okay, this is fine, this is okay, this is fine. You know, as opposed to, like, you can't all have bangers, right? It's draft, right? So, you know. But, yeah, we're going to switch games. We're going to switch over to the better of the Zeldas. Um, so I'll be right back. Please do not go anywhere. I shall return momentarily. Um, ooh, it's got to be the switching games one, doesn't it? It'll take me, like, a few minutes. I might make another tea, actually. My grandfather's deck. No, 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 no. That's Yugi's. That's Yugi's. That's Yugi's. Uh, let's. Uh -oh. I also have to make a, a a note as to where to make the cutoff for this upload to the YouTube's.